allegiance extend With the crown on his brow Our empire will bend Monarchy's glory In Caesar's command Unyielding and steadfast Across every land So raise by the banners And let the trumpets resound For Caesar a king With laurels crowned Republic and democracy Shadows in the night In Caesar's monarchy Our destiny Because democracies are cringe and gay. And empire is based. <laughs> and yes, we're live, by the way. I just like playing that because that is actually a legitimately good song. And it trashes democracy. <laughs> it's like, it can trash so, democracy and also praise empire. Absolutely based. And it's but here's a good the AI. scary part, guys. That song was written by AI. In terms of the lyrics are written by AI. The song was made by AI. The whole fucking thing is AI. Um, which is a little bit scary, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, it is interesting, <clears throat> uh, the powers that AI has. Now, that's the song that I, I did spoon, I, I was playing around with this, this, uh, AI software. It's called, um, Senu, I think? S E. Yeah, Aiden asked me, like, give me a song subject, and I went to <laughs> Roman imperialism. <laughs> Suno, S-U-N-O, S-U-N-O, just app.suno.ai. Um, Lord Ghana actually told me about it, and uh, I I did also make I'll hold off on that though because I've got a, another song that I I uh, mostly it was written by AI, but then I went in and cleaned it up a little bit, and you can see <laughs> it's something purely made by AI uh, versus something that has had a human touch to it. Uh, but we'll get to that because it, it it relates to a topic we're going to be talking about tonight. I actually did think that that turned out really cool though, um, in terms of the, <laughs> the kind of like '80s power metal uh, kind of stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it turned out pretty neat. Anywho, so yeah, welcome to Basically, if we make a new regime, time. that's what we're gonna do. Uh, <laughs> 80s power metal. Power <laughs> metal? The yeah. Leader, like, <laughs> absolutely based. I'm totally in favor of this. <laughs> yeah, it sounded pretty dope to me. I'm astonished by how good the AI, the AI music is, stuff yeah. is. Someone said, so monarchies need scary. AI to promote them. Yeah, democracy needs propaganda. Fuck you. Everyone uses propaganda. Yes. By not using propaganda, we shoot ourselves in the foot. Yeah, Everyone I mean, they use propaganda. It. It's just shit. Right. <laughs> New exactly. show intro song. It's a bit. It's a bit long for an intro song. Yeah, it's it's too long. I can make a shorter one or something. But um. I can use the, it for an exit song. Yeah, sure. Um. I was talking. Uh, we spoke about this just a couple minutes ago, which is that yeah, you, on some with some things, you do kind of have to not lie to people. So much, but you do need to kind of propagandize because our enemies propagandize. So you need a good story. Yeah, sure. Everyone else around us propagandizes. What are we supposed to do? I mean, like, I understand. Truly, I do. I understand the desire to want to be better than. And I do think it, it, it is what makes us stand out. But the difference is is more complex than that. We're not also, trying to do they evil. lie. They are. They are. But that's, for one, they lie. And two, they are trying to do evil. We're not. <laughs> so that's kind of a big difference. Uh, where can we get the song? Um, Agnes Jedi, uh, you know what? Spoon, if you would, uh, or I have it too, post it in the Broken Crown Discord. I'll post it here, actually, because I might have it easier. Um, actually, Glory to Caesar, the monarch divine. <laughs> it's like absolutely base. It? There's some I good posted? lyrics. I don't know. Mm -mm. Actually, where did I post this at? Oh, I think I, I think it's just in my download folder. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> I think. Yes, I, ho I hope you all like the new office. Yeah, here it is. Because the other one is like, yeah, this is yeah. like a personal library. I'm like, we need something that is bigger for Aiden and I. Something with books that has like a window in the middle. Yes, many books. Yes, many, many books and shiny books. lights. <laughs> and also, the couch looks very comfy. It does look comfy. Mm. That's in my couch. 
I don't, I don't really like leather couches though, particularly in the summer, because then your butt sticks to them if you have shorts. Yeah, but in this one, you're, you know? you're underground, so I'm not really all that well. You're true, underwater. You're underground, and, and, and I assume you're going to be wearing like a long dress if you're a woman, or you know, like a. Well, this is in Bioshock where everyone dress is dressed or, to the nines. Right, or suit. Right, you're going to be dressed yes. to the nines. You're not going to be wearing shorts. We need to give your, we need to give your avatar a dress. Because I'm in a tuxedo but, with a bow. I know, I know, but my, my whole avatar thing is that I just wear fucking... <laughs> just, just wear my Daredevil shirt. Whereas I am no, dressed to the shirt. nines. I'm dressed to impress underground people. Oh. Oh my. Um, okay, shall we get into it? Let's uh, talk about the things that happened this last week. Which is... Which, uh... This, this place... <laughs> this, this place... Everything gets weirder and weirder these days. You just Always think like, goes. oh, never look at this. It ends. <laughs> yeah. Transgender visibility. Uh, he doesn't even so, know where he is. I don't think he even knows what transgender people even are. This is what I said on Twitter about it, is that Biden has no idea what the fuck he's doing. No. Um So, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to address a couple things out of the gate before yes, I get Yes, sure it is. Okay, so this, um, the 31st being un- uh officially recognized as transgender day of visibility has been going on for about four or five years okay um that's true but it was this year when easter fell on the 31st that biden chose to officially announce it as the official american transgender day of visibility to me um that's a giant now biden has no idea I, I, biden has no idea what's going on but his handlers do they know mm. that this is that this is this is a direct attack on uh, on Christians. Uh, Kevin, I did actually see that. <clears throat> um, so I Biden think was that... asked about it, and he just said, "Like I don't know," or he forgot. He, and to what, be honest, I could probably I could... he said he didn't know. Yeah. About what? About the that... the transgender visibility thing, which to be honest, I can actually believe. I did because he is old and senile that. and shit. He doesn't know shit. Well, KGP said something about it, yeah. Oh, well, she, to yeah, be fair, okay. she's basically a drone. Right, she just says whatever. Is this it? Yeah, there's a reason I call her a script. Um, no, 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 I'm just saying... Uh, I've had a bunch of people tell me that's a good word to use instead of NPC. Yeah, yeah. either one's fine. Anyway, that's it. here's the tilde of it. Quick rundown. Biden announces Transgender Day of Visibility Proclamation on Easter, a thumb in the face of Christians. I think it's bait to get an opportunity to paint anyone who disagrees as hateful, as spiteful and resentful. Fox News. Of course, that's obvious. Billy Jones said. <laughs> um, again, this is, it's not Biden doing any of this because he's... He's a senile monkey. <sighs> yeah, but Excuse me. certainly his handlers did this on purpose. Yeah. It is a direct attack on Christians. I'm sorry, there's no other way of, seeing, of looking at it. And we're going to see, like... This whole, like, oh, what's Praise the problem? The We've been doing this for years. This is not the only trans holiday that is un that has been unofficially uh, created. Uh, there's a laundry list of them. Jesse Waters covered it. We'll look at his. But there, you can also find the list on Twitter and pretty much everywhere of just how many of these days, days there are. It's something like 50 of them. Some of the it's, bravest you, people and, and I know. You, yeah, <laughs> you get a day of invisibility and the president praises right. you. I don't think you get to claim oppression points, you fucking twat. You know, when, when, when the president um, uh, um, basically makes a day for you to exist, like, you you are no longer oppressed. You can fuck off. Yeah. Like, for yeah. goodness sake, the entire world sings a freaking praise. It's, oh, we're so terribly oppressed. And meanwhile, you have a day and a flag that hangs on the freaking barriers of the fucking it's White House. Piss it's, off. Uh... It's bullshit. No, no, because it's not. Um... <clears throat> I call them the Rainbow because, Rangers. I, I saw this, that people um, were posting this on Twitter, but they were... Um... Showing just like how full the calendar is now. Now here's the full days, which I'm going to go over anyway. But if oh yeah, see, I like the way Christ like, is, Christ is King pisses months. off Jews now. <laughs> yeah, some of these are entire months. Some yeah, of these are, are weeks. They're not just days. So like, it is at this point essentially something like a third of the entire year is LGBT awareness days, right? Essentially. I don't whatever. need to be aware of them. I want them to fuck off because they're annoying me. Yeah. It, there's so many. We'll, we'll look at them. But like the whole thing, just how many there are and, and how, I mean, like it, it, this is just sanctifying it. And to do it on Easter, it sends a very clear message, right? It's blasphemous. It, it is obviously a message behind this. Like I, you know, my opinion on this is 
you can declare whatever day you want. I think it's what I said on Twitter is, is declare it whatever the fuck you like it day. However, when you decide to ratify this as an official United States holiday on Easter. You're going to piss off. Christmas. That is it's well, the message is clear. <clears throat> yeah, it's like 150 days in the calendar. It's it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, about a third getting close to half of the damn year. Yeah, if it's 150, it's damn near close to half the year. Ah, yes. Trans, low-hanging fruit. Um, <laughs> Oof. Uh, mm, emphasis on one of those words. Um, uh, it's someone in the chat said it like, that's a good fucking punchline. Oof. <laughs> that's a really, it's really a good day. punchline. <laughs> it's a random day created by a random person out of Michigan. No president oh, has God. ever marked it as any, you know, any sort of proclamation until 2021. They could have observed it on any other day. Biden chose to observe it on Easter. I think it's worth, I think it was uh, with intention. I agree. It's a thumb in the face of Christians in Easter, co-host Elisa Booth said. I agree. Uh, Biden wrote, on Transgender Day of Visibility, we celebrate the joy, strength, and absolute courage of some of the bravest people I know. Biden, you don't know where you are. Yeah. Good God. I mean, that's why, again, like... You Your could, entire existence I, I mean, is that literally appear to be. That does appear to be, like, the leftist cope on this. It's just like... Which is, is strange to see that, that, that they're even saying it's like, oh, Biden's old and, you know, he doesn't know. He doesn't know it's Easter. But he's doing what? But he's By out the way, there that's doing a all this really Easter weird stuff. thing to say that phrase like trans rights are human rights. If you need human rights because you're trans, it tells me you're not human because you need human rights. Oh, no, 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 no. It's 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 completely vapid sloganeering that is impossible. I know, but I I, I I I like it's to like argue Matter. for the. What does Black Lives Matter so if you do with this? Well, it's the same type of phraseology, right? So if you say oh, right, yeah. um anything bad about trans people, they go trans rights are human rights. Trans rights are human rights. So if you are yeah, saying slogan, that trans people care. can't, I don't know, uh, be in, that shouldn't be in women's bathrooms shaving uh, their beards in, in the bathroom of a Planet Fit, in a women's bathroom in a Planet Fitness, or have their junks out uh, at, at women's spas in, in, you know, then they'll say, trans rights are human rights, trans rights are human rights. It's, it's a, a magical It's phrase, reactionary right? slogans. Right, but it, it, it's yeah, it's not like in the a, political sense, though. But but it is magical in, in the way that they perceive it. They perceive these words as having magical power, and moreover, it's intended so that if you say like, "I don't want my children to be exposed to the rainbow uh, dildo Hippies. butt monkey," they'll say, "Well, you're denying <laughs> my human monkey. rights because trans <laughs> rights are." I mean, you remember the rainbow dildo butt monkey? Oh Those yeah. I don't know. Oh, you said dildo. I saw you, you said dodo. <laughs> it makes it funnier oh, no, for some rainbow reason. Dildo butt monkey. <laughs> But the if rainbow you, if you dodo say, butt monkey for some reason sounds funnier. <laughs> but if why. you say, "Hey, I don't want you to teach. I don't want you to have drag queens coming into the, my my children's elementary school and going into explicit detail about gay sex," they'll go, "Well, you're denying my human rights." And Black Lives Matter is the same thing. If you say, "Well, all lives matter," they go, "Well, you're you're I'm not, not actually in favor of human rights. Actually, I think human rights. But are you, cringe. Under, you understand the point of this slogan, right? <sighs> It's like I they do. can just say, oh, you're a bigot, you're hateful, you're denying my human rights. If you don't say Black Lives Matter, that must mean you're saying that Black Lives don't matter. And that means that you want us all to die and you're you're a genocidal lunatic. Like That's the point of this. It's very, very basic um, word game tactics. Um, and that's all this is. That's why they have to use it incessantly, though. Anthony Blinken also issued a statement saying, on this day, the United States recognizes the achievements and progress that trans persons have made in the global struggle for equality and reaffirms its commitment to supporting the equality, inclusion, and full recognition of the human rights of transgender persons. What human rights are they lacking? Again, none. This is a slogan. It doesn't mean anything. Andrew Bates, White House spokesperson, issued a statement in response to the backlash to the president's tweet saying, as a Christian who celebrates Easter with family, President Biden stands for bringing people together and upholding the dignity and freedoms of every American. Sadly, it's unsurprising politicians are seeking... It's politicians doing it? Yeah, it's like regular Americans you pissed off with this. On purpose, by the way. Are seeking to divide and weaken our country with cruel, hateful, and dishonest rhetoric? Pick any other day. Pick any other day. Pick any other year. It could even be on the 31st. Just pick any other year. You chose this year. President Biden will never abuse his faith, faith for political purposes or for profit that's uh, a lot are you out of your mind that's like his entire gimmick yeah, most likely well no he's just lying booth added quote this is a clear effort and a coordinated effort yet why'd you put it on easter to remove god from society and replace god with false gods um or the who, state who's booth wait who's booth here 
Oh, is it? No, it's, that's Lisa Booth from, from Fox News. Okay. Sorry. Clear effort and a coordinated effort, I agree, to remove God from our society and replace God with false gods. And in this instance, it's the trans community. I mean, that's certainly been the way it's been going for like the last three years. I think that's over, by the way. I think that's coming to a real quick end in terms of the, you can't criticize trans people. You can't tell trans people that they can't do crimes. You can't, you can't do anything. Uh, trans people just exist right now in this temporary period of time on a different elevated level from all other citizens. They can pretty much get away with anything. Mm, even murder, I would say, to some degree. I mean, literally, <laughs> in some cases. Um, with significantly reduced uh, penalties, just because, well, this Again, is the current yeah. gestalt, right? But it, it, is, um, it is untenable, and it is coming to an end. Um, and I do feel bad again, as I've said many times before, for how this how this is going to snap back, right? Because this is not every trans person who who is promoting this shit. Um, th this is uh, them trying to consolidate power and and to demoralize people. I believe more than anything, it's about demoralization. <clears throat> it's always about uh, demoralization. Yeah, yeah. What we need but, to do uh, is build a giant cathedral. With the academy? Uh, no, I mean like literally a giant cathedral and there's many of them. <laughs> with like a base Jesus like who's like built to the nines and looks like a Greek god. Like Jesus has abs and like jack triceps and looks like he can just kick your ass but look at it, you're wrong. And he's carrying the cross and not like slouching, carries it like with two freaking hands up in the sky, like he's fireman's walk, just up in the air instead of carrying it. Mm -hmm. Just because I, I prefer like a powerful Jesus. And also it would scare the crap oh, out yeah. of lefties. <laughs> Anything that annoys them. is good times. Uh, they, clearly, they clearly want us to bow at the altar of the trans community. Instead yeah, of that's not going to happen. That, that, yeah. And even if you don't believe in God, you should want to live in a society that does. Because well, we'll get to that, Richard Dawkins. Because what oh, God does. Oh, society, you have. Oh, means that God, we you have that. To something. Yes, I do. Something uh, greater than ourselves. Uh, <laughs> I can I cannot tell you how much that annoyed me. I, I want I know. to. It's very annoying. It's very <sighs> possible. We'll get to that though. As human beings, we are imperfect. We are valuable. We are sinful. We are all these bad things. The founding fathers knew that, which is why they try to protect us from ourselves in the way they devise our government. I mean, there was an attempt, but the monarchy Jesus unfortunately power, is a failed system of government. She continued, they try to protect us from our worst impulses as a society, and a society that's devoid of God has no boundaries. That's true. There is no wrong versus right. It is a selfish society, an inward-facing society, the kind of society right now that we have, a society where we have drag queens working for kids, where we are mutilating the bodies of young people in the name of transgenderism. Well said. Well said, Lisa Booth. Co-host David Webb said Biden's first move of uh, is a part of a strategy for the progressive base. It is a blindness. It's also part of a strategy to not only take religion and play to their hard left progressive base out of the conversation and out of society and the new God, that is the government. Ooh, yep, true. That's it. But also an attempt to gaslight the American people to get that reaction while they play to a very small base of people who already go along, who may go along with this. This is the part that's, that's the really frustrating part to me is the gaslighting where they just go, what do you mean? Yeah. I'm quiet like I'm in a hallway. No, you're not now. Oh, did you have me muted or, or turned no. on? No. If I had you muted, they wouldn't hear you. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I do appreciate women being quiet. <laughs> and the chat's okay, naming I don't on know. you. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, did you have me turned down or? Yeah, it's okay now. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Oh, the OT. Yeah, uh, I, I know. I know the meme you're speaking of. The the Korean. Did you ever see that um, that statue of the Korean Jesus? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, with Jesus is just like absolutely freaking jacked. Like he's just been roided to the freaking gills. <laughs> Jesus, like the nails are like the size of his freaking palm. They're huge, and Jesus is just like absolutely like crucifix pose. Like, damn, Jesus. If Jesus was like that, Jesus would whoop everyone's ass. No Roman would touch him. Bruh. As base Jesus. Do, do, do. Yeah. Oh, whoa. I use the word gaslight. It comes up here. It's also time to gaslight the American people to get that reaction. Yes. Um, and that's what they want. That's what this is really about. This this is a, come on, do a terrorism. Come on, get really mad. Get all upset. 
That's what they want out of you, out of this, by the way. I think so. What do you think, yeah. Spoon? No, of course, that is literally I think that they, the, the only point yeah. of the regime. It's just to antagonize the crap out of you. Yeah. It's a provoker reaction. They, yeah, they want people to... They People just kind of went... From what I saw, people you were upset about it. You away but from them. No one, like, freaked out. You know? Yeah, they just no, no want to like, burn uh, anything down. You're a cringe and gay. That's basically this. the reaction. Right. We don't celebrate your government holiday anyway. I mean, yeah, but, like, it's, it's just clearly... It's also extremely obvious to anyone paying attention that this was intended to provoke Christians. It's obvious. They wanted... Look, election's coming up. Biden wants a Jan 6 too. I think that's what this was. He wanted to get Christians out in the street protesting. Didn't happen. Get fucked. He wanted them to go out there and burn something down. Christian, spiritual, a Judeo-Christian. No, 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 no. Just, just be out there protesting. It, it is not Judeo-Christian. It is just mm -hmm. Christian. Mm -hmm. Judeo can fuck off. Who the hell is pushing mm -hmm. this crap? That's just... Yeah. Uh, that's neocon verbiage. That's neocon bullshit, yes. Everybody knows which yeah. group is pushing this crap. It's always the fucking small hats. So don't give me this crap not everybody... today or piss <clears throat> off. Not everybody gets a day. He turned Easter into a trans celebration. In his tweets and comments, I just don't understand it. Co-host Joey Jones said, I think it's bait to get an opportunity to paint anyone who disagrees as hateful. Yep, spiteful and resentful. Yep, yep, yep. I don't feel any of those things towards people who are transgender. I just have a special place in my heart for Easter Sunday. And I don't think that's a whole lot to ask for. I don't think it's hateful at all. I don't think that everyone gets a day. Well, we'll look into that. I think that that's part of the problem is that this idea that we've gone from acceptance to adherence. It's veneration. It's worship. That's something this country is built on. Um, and that's not, that it is. And yeah, the message is clear. You you don't worship God. You worship our ideology. The right? state. You must worship the state. That's pretty and clear the state to me. Can fuck off. Yep. State can fuck off. Oh, uh, the this state one, can quickly make become anarchist. <laughs> Did I have this here with the other thing? It's oh, misinformation. Here we go. So, this Bitch, is. Bitch, your hair looks like the freaking huts of the people back home. Here's. Uh, Literally. The def some of the defense. The defense. Of course, they came out afterwards and had to be like, no, no, no. What are you talking about? Uh, it's an accident, right? It's a little mistake. My God. His eyes are Botox shut, basically. Easter egg roll ever. But Easter Sunday was. Another thing, too, about the White House Easter egg hunt. No religious symbols whatsoever. On Easter, you weren't allowed to put a cross on the egg. You know? No cross. I don't know. They, they said no religious symbols, so I, I wonder, like, what that means. Could you put a fish? You know, is it being associated with Christ? I, I don't know what, what they all consider a religious symbol. Well, like I get the feeling they would let you put the, the, the moon and star, right? The Islamic one? I think they'd be okay with that. <laughs> Just like, or maybe, maybe a star of David. But uh, probably no, no, no crucifixes on the, uh, on the eggs. Yeah, coming from I have a guy funny story supposedly about that. a Catholic. I have a funny story about that. When I was a kid, my, uh, my godfather is somewhat, uh, was like one of those hardcore militant atheists way before it was cool, because he's oh, my God, godfather, Bill so Maher he's... Type. Yeah, 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 he's a Bill Maher type. Or, I don't, I mean, not anymore. He, but he's, he's always had that kind of bent to him. And we were, it was Easter Sunday, and we were all decorating eggs. And he, as a joke, right, to, to kind of own the questions. This is back, by the way, guys, like 1996, just to give you a time span on this. I'm six or seven years old, something like that. And it's 1995, 1997, that kind of time frame. And uh, so he, he drew a cross on his egg. Did you mute your microphone again? No, what are you talking about? I never no. muted my microphone. No. What the fuck do you mean? I've never muted my mic. <laughs> uh, calm down. Good lord. You went quiet for like five seconds. Oh. That's what I'm asking. <clears throat> okay. Like, now. You have two hard-boiled eggs, you know, that you, you didn't die and, you know, draw someone on. And you smash them together. And one wins. The one that breaks loses. The one that, that stays intact wins. Um... And then you go on to fight it with another egg. And again, my godfather thought it would be really funny that he, if he put, being a militant atheist, if he put a crucifix on his egg and uh, his egg won every single time. 
it beat all of the other eggs, <laughs> hands down, and it did not crack. And I remember, even as a kid, seeing him kind of just thinking there for a second and being like, wait a minute, have I maybe done a little bit of a, a blasphemy? <laughs> did, did God maybe, uh, is he trying to tell me something? Bird brain moment. I haven't muted anything, guys. I don't know what's going on. Um, uh... Spoon did mute or did uh, have me turned on earlier. Did you mute me, mute me, Spoon? Ooh, no, I didn't mute you. Why would I mute you? Uh, anyway, are you sure, the are you sure you're sensitive of the, you, you, your microphone? Is I'm, I'm, oh, I'm assuming your, your gate on your microphone is quite high. No, I have it turned like all the way down. Oh, that's quite bizarre. So I have no idea why it's being weird. Mm. Um, it's not my fault. Uh, are you sure you don't have something weird? Why would I have something weird? I literally just have the main audio on. Turn the gate down lower, I guess. Even though uh. like it can't go much lower. Uh, okay. All right, I'm getting pissed off. All right, let's go. Bloody day. Mm -hmm. Away from cameras, a reporter asked President Biden. Speaker Johnson called it outrageous that Easter Sunday was transgender day of visibility. What do you say to Speaker Johnson? The president said he's thoroughly uninformed. Uninformed about what? Yeah, that's How is he weird. fucking uninformed? How is he uninformed? Ex yeah, okay. Asked uninformed how, President Biden said, I didn't do that. He <laughs> did do that. Yeah, see what I mean? I, I love it. You're right. That's not, I didn't do it. I love it. I, I love this, that total lack of accountability. To be honest, um, <clears throat> that's probably true in his case. I mean, it is, is that probably he didn't true, know. it's yeah. also insane. Yeah, because he's not in charge of shit, so when he, someone says like, Hey, look, your your office did this, and he just says, I don't know about it, I can 100% believe yeah. it. Either because yeah. uh, he doesn't know what jack shit what's going on, or he's seen it as fuck. Insane, insane. Someone dude. says I sound more bassy than usual. Yes, that's because I got audio equipment that increased my low wind. Hence why I sound more boomy. Hmm. I don't know why people can't hear me, it's just not, um... By the way, he looks really uncomfortable in that right? picture. Yeah. <laughs> Proclamation that said, in part, I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender we people. Oh, shut up. And that, the part that was important about this clip is, I didn't do that. Yes. So, by the way, if you're, let's say you are a leftist, and you, you, you love that Biden has made Transgender Visibility Day an official holiday. Let's say know. you're a leftist who actually really likes even that he did it on Easter just to piss off Christians because you hate Christians. How can you stand by it when he's now saying he didn't do it? He he he's saying I don't know I didn't do that. Hey Dragon Treasure. Uh, it seems a little bit even if you believe, but that's the thing is that they don't care about anything. They have no morals. They have no ethics. All they care no, about they is just money. Care power. So they don't care. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they it's, they play pure power politics, so they don't give a shit. They don't care that Biden is is saying I didn't do that. Wouldn't bother them because they yeah. they do not have any morals whatsoever. Interesting. We always the through thread here. Can't ever take <laughs> accountability. I didn't do that. That's misinformation. Let's hear KJP. So the criticism over the, the transgender day of visibility, um, the White House said that the president uh, wouldn't abuse his faith for political purposes. Does the president think that's what Republicans are doing? On the I mean, look, uh, just a couple of things. And uh, really um, so surprised by the misinformation that's been out mm -hmm. there around Anyone this, who says that phrase instantly dismiss them as morons. Because mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. that's literally Every just regime past... talking points kind of speak. Mm -hmm. Years, speak. On March 31st, trans Transgender Day of Visibility is March. And as we know... It, transgender Day of Visibility is March? The whole month? Yeah, that doesn't Even make a lot of sense. It, despite the fact that it's been celebrated in the past on the 31st unofficially, Biden made it official on the year it fell on Easter Sunday. And that's the issue. That's not misinformation. That's a fact. It's incontrovertible. For folks who understand the calendar and how it works, Easter what? falls on different Sundays. Oh, I was like, right? why'd you choose this? And why'd you choose this one? Hmm? Yeah. 
I just like for those of you who don't understand the calendar works like bitch you are the last person who should condescend to anyone <laughs> Mike Mysterio I, I know where you're coming from and we, we've went over that but like they could have done it last year they could have done it the year before they chose this year they chose the year it fell on Easter um, the regime doesn't do anything public I don't without yeah. <clears throat> it's yeah. nothing is ever by accident everything is always yeah. on purpose yes and this year, it happened to coincide. Particularly when it's something like this that they knew is going to upset people. And the reason why I think, as I said earlier, that that they wanted to upset people is they want they want other Jan sex. They want people to be out. They want people to be outraged. They want Christians to get angry. They want them to go protest. That's what they wanted. Didn't happen. But that's what they wanted so that they could spin that as good press. Yeah, it's for demoralizing. Biden. And yes, and to demoralize. One to demoralize, and two that if anyone did do anything. Um, that then they could call them a terrorist and say, yeah, we got to shut this down. We need to get rid of the Christian nationalism, N not Nazi, uh, you know, rhetoric stuff as they always pull out. With trans uh, Transgender Visibility Day. And so that is the simple fact. That is what has happened. Exactly. Minnesota, that is yeah. where we are. It's an election and year. I do want to say a couple of things because I think it's important here. Uh, no, as not. you just stated. Nothing that you have said is ever important. Ever. <laughs> a lot of misinformation. No, no. Information done on purpose uh and as a christian uh, who celebrates easter with family president biden stands for bringing people together and upholding the dignity and freedoms of every american uh-huh now sadly and it's not surprising right it is actually unsurprising what freedom that do you politicians have politicians are seeking to divide yeah so when we, i mean that's the question of course because again it's it's a slogan trans yes. human rights what human rights are you lacking none it doesn't mean anything it's a cudgel and weaken our country with cruel, hateful, and dishonest rhetoric. It's Speaking of, oh, <laughs> yeah, dishonest. Thank you. Yeah, you're being real honest oh, right now. Oh, God, it's projection. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jesus. I know. Uh, we'll get through this this Easter segment, and then I'll get to the super chats, shall we? It's dishonest what we have heard the past 24 hours. It is untrue uh -huh. what we... How is it untrue? The fact of the matter is, he chose this year of all years, he's been president, this is his fourth year, and he chose this year to name Transgender Day of Visibility an official U.S. holiday on the year it coincided with Easter Sunday. That's not misinformation. That's fact. <laughs> oh, we but when, when we're done with this, you got to so, someone just messaged me this. So infuriating. Th this, this is really funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> someone messaged me that. After the segment, what? Go through some of the go through some of the oh, comments. Okay. <laughs> They're really, really okay. funny. Okay. Is it related to this? Yeah, it definitely relates to this. Okay. <laughs> Christian visibility. Oh, I'll, I'll get to this later. Yeah. Yeah, it's <clears> funny. <throat> so, uh, I, I couldn't find like a better clip of this, but. Uh, this clip from Jesse Waters, so it's been like TikTokified. Sorry, but I also have the full list. But just, just gonna go over the ridiculousness of this claim. Okay, that well, finally we have a day. We have a day. All we want is a day. We just want one day, and you're mad at us, Christians. You have you have Easter. You have Christmas forever. We need our one day. Okay. Trans Americans want to have a day to themselves. Have a day. Have a month. That's what Pride Month's for, right? June. But we discovered trans days take up half the year. They have Transgender Day of Visibility, Transgender Day of Remembrance, Transgender Awareness Week, Trans Awareness Month, Transparent Day, International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia, Pride Month, LGBTQ History Month, LGBTQ Health Awareness Week, International Day of Pink, Day of Silence for Trans Bullying, Lesbian Visibility Week, Agender Pride Day, Harvey Milk Day, Pansexual and Panromantic Awareness Day, Stonewall Day, International LGBTQ Plus Day, International Non-Binary People Day, <laughs> International Drag Day, Bisexual Awareness Week, Celebrate Bisexuality Day, International Lesbian Day, National Coming Out Day, Gender Fluid Visibility Week, International Pronoun Day, Spirit Day, Intersex Awareness Day, Intersex Day of Remembrance. I could go on. They dominate the calendar. 
I mean, it's the truth. Yeah. Look, look at this shit. Here's a list. A third of the calendar is recognized as national. Well, they're not all recognized. This this is the first one to be like totally recognized by the president. But look at how I mean, basically every. Well, I guess well, I guess maybe January and February appear to be <clears throat> a little bit lacking. Look, they got plenty of days to fill those out, uh, lads uh, and uh, Zemzers. One hundred and twenty-one days out of the year. Well, I don't know if you can count World AIDS Day, but <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, a third of the whole year. But yeah, you re you need some more, huh? You need some more. Absolutely absurd. And what is this? This is this is all. Um, why do you need all these days? Because you're a narcissist. If if you truly feel like you need these days, you are a narcissist. You need things to be about you all the time. I don't need. I don't yeah. need this this shit. I don't need this shit. Who who needs this shit? People who are extremely insecure and narcissists. What, you, the, and and because I think it's the only thing you have, people who who care about this stuff like this, it's that is their entire identity. There is nothing else interesting about them. There is nothing at all interesting about them. They have no personality. They are just their sexual identity. That's all they are. And true, also, is it just their politics? As, it's politics too, but it's also a faith, which again, why yes. it's why it's so interesting. They put this on Easter. But their faith this is, is a only religious tied to the calendar. regime. Yes. But this is a religious calendar. This is like the saints' days, right? In the yeah, Catholic, for in the them, Catholic calendar. Much, yes. Yes. This is your your Catholic saints' calendar. Yes. Which is. I why mean, that's you the only way. That's how it looks to me. <clears throat> yeah. So, Trump has proposed a Christian Visibility Day. He wants Election Day to be called Christian Visibility Day. Ah, oh, I thought uh, we have one called this, Christmas. Right. Well, I mean, we we have a couple, but like, but the point is, is to be facetious, you know, because look, they have all these other days. It's like if you're gonna, just, you know, call it whatever the hell you want day, and Trump's doing the same thing. Sure, if you're gonna be disrespectful, we're gonna make November fifth Christian Visibility Day. Fine, I, I don't really care. Um, the only reason I care at all about the the Easter stuff is because one, uh, I I think it's really intentionally disrespectful which is kind of disgusting and two i think it was intended to uh encourage people to get violent and it didn't work uh, and they're kind of seething about it but also trying to walk it back a little bit it doesn't um, work though that's the problem is like you're not no. this is gonna sound a bit weird you're too cringe to provoke a reaction yeah yeah you see, like, oh god, like you're, you're not, you're not. Oh, this is gonna sound quite insulting to them, but it's because you're not a worthy foe, right? You're pathetic. Yeah. It's more like being baited by a cripple into punching. <laughs> it's like, mm, no. Look at, like, look at this laser. Like, how Christians have treated people they do not agree with. Uh, dude. Man, <clears throat> base Christians in the past. Yeah. Fuck, oh my God, Christians yeah, in the past. Yeah, can you cite anything that's happened in the 21st century? In the 20th century? In the 19th century? Yeah, you need Come to go back on, like what dude. 300 years ago? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see read some of the replies. Some of the replies are hilarious. Let's yeah, discuss what Islam well, offers. Let's <laughs> discuss oh Islam. God. Why do you keep pissing this mm. off? Good point, Dan. Christian visibility is like asking for white man visibility day. Ugh, disgusting. Uh, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Climate change is real. Oh, there we go. Like Ukraine it's flag. A, it's like a cult. <laughs> yeah, not Muslims. every freaking right. time. Yeah. It is a cult. Yeah. Uh, Christian gave the world science and books. That's true, actually. Yeah. Inquisition was bad. Go back to Reddit. <laughs> that's yeah. so freaking true. Yeah. Now do every other religious group or non-religious group of people before 300 years ago. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do Islam. Yeah, they don't. They, this is it's pathetic. But leads into Richard Dawkins. Fine to hear. This was just so, like, this is so infuriating. By the this, way, this is uh, the can, end can of I the just Easter say segment. Richard Dawkins is a absolute pathetic cunt of a man. This is pathetic. Just this is pathetic. Absolutely insane. The, the, if, if I had any yeah. respect for him. Like this, just the. I don't have. I, like, I have like a list of people, you know, that fire out of a cannon. He is. Mm -hmm. He's in nearing like Bill Maher territory of pissing <laughs> me off. Like that is how much <laughs> I despise this man. Like everybody knows me. 
uh, knows that I fucking hate Bill Maher with an absolute passion. And this, like, mm-hmm. this particular moment, my, you are basically giving Bill Maher run for his money at this point with this kind of bullshit. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, let's assess what it is. We've not seen it. We'll, w- we'll watch it here, but... I saw Dawkins, yesterday on AA. Famous, famous... An atheist. I mean, that's what it. Yeah. The God that, Delusion. The, the book God that Delusion. He fucking wrote. Yeah. Famous for being an atheist, is mm-hmm. now saying, "Well, I, I consider myself actually a cultural Christian, and I want to live in a Christian nation." You are, in large part, responsible for, for so much shit. of this shit, for yes. popularizing this. Oh, now you don't like it. it. Oh no, could it be the consequences of my actions? No. Of course not. That, that Ramadan is being promoted instead. I do think that we we are culturally a Christian country. I'm, I call myself a cultural Christian. I, I... And why did you fight against Christianity for so long? You you talked so much shit about it. You said it was a horrible backwards religion, but you don't like it now only because you have to compare it to Islam, huh? And now you're a cultural Christian, are you? This guy, what a sniveling, weak, Little pathetic shit. loser. This is somebody waving the white flag saying, please don't hurt me, please don't hurt me. I realize maybe I've made a mistake, but please, uh, can, can you just uh, save me? Going to make it worse? Yeah, I guess I'm not a believer, but there's a distinction between being a believing Christian and being a cultural Christian. And so, you know, I, no, I love isn't. hymns and Christmas. No, no, no. You, what it is, is that, oh, I love hymns and carols and I love Christmas. Uh, and I love, I love all the I li- little I like the Christian aesthetic. Yes, but I, like I don't want to do what anything what about it. What he means I is that else he grew it. up in Christian Britain. Yes. And he misses that. Yes. He didn't like understand he that what he was advocating for no. was to to abolish, to get rid of Christianity, to to excise it from British cultural tradition. Inherently excises British cultural tradition. Yes, oh, you like you, you, I like the, I, I like my hymns and my and I like my my Christmas trees and stuff. But I didn't understand that that was culturally connected to to <laughs> to Christianity. And you can't just call it cultural though, because every the other people, the people who who invented these traditions, believe in it. And but he, dude, it's so insufferable. It's just he wants to reap the cultural benefits of other people's faith. Yes carols and um i i sort of feel at home in the christian ethos i feel that we are a christian country in that sense uh, it's true that statistically the number of people who actually believe in christianity is going down uh and i i'm happy with that <laughs> but i would not be so you, you're happy mm. the very thing that you're the crying is missing is go- you fuck off i know it's crazy the, the contradictory ideas that he holds. I'm happy that less people are Christian, but I don't want to get rid of Christian traditions. Why would anyone have Christian... You just Dawkins. come across like an absolute idiot at this point. Yes, he does. Why would we celebrate Christian traditions if we were not... If we? Why celebrate Christmas and Easter if we did not believe that there was a reason to celebrate them? I want Christian this, this traditions, just, but I don't want Christianity. They, you are It's an wanting to have his cake and eat it tool. too. He's wanting to have his cake and eat it too. Yeah. I'd be happy if, um, for example, we lost all our cathedrals and our beautiful parish churches. There you go. Basically, um, I, so I, I, like, I, I like the aesthetic. Like... It's happening right now. It's happening right now. They're being turn, torn down and turned into mosques because of people like you and your politics. You are responsible for this in part. Now, I think it's largely the regime. I mean, it's outside of the individual. Per- yeah. By the way, like, Dawkins, I don't know um, if his, you've his noticed, ideas. I don't know if you've noticed this, this, but atheism is shit. It has no aesthetics. It has no moral foundations. It is just mm. consumerism. That's yeah. it. That is all it amounts to. And if you know anything about life, which I'm assuming you don't at this fucking point, is that consumerism is not enough to build a fucking society. Like Leiden said, it just ends up in a rat race for numbers. A purely commercial society mm-hmm. is an ugly society because the main thing you focus on mm-hmm. is efficiency. And efficiency doesn't mm-hmm. care about aesthetics. Efficiency doesn't build cathedrals. Yes. Efficiency, efficiency does not create beautiful yes. works of art. It creates the shit they're trying to put on the, the fourth plinth, right? Yes. 
it's fat, for function. ugly, like hideous, hideous oh, emoji-looking uh, yes. black woman statue. Jesus. As a cultural Christian, I think it would matter. Stop using if we phrase. certainly if we substituted any alternative religion, that would be tr truly dreadful. Well, which brings um, me to to my supplementary point, which is that, as we know, church attendance is plummeting. But the building, the erection of mosques across Europe, I think 6,000 are under construction and there are many more, I mean, are being planned. So do you think, do you regard that as a problem? Do you think that matters? Yes, I do, really. I mean, I, 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 I don't, I, I just choose my words carefully. I mean, yeah? I, yeah, because you're why? a bitch, that's why. Well, that's curious. Hang on a second. That's a really curious thing. Why do you have to choose your words carefully when we're talking about Islam? Because there's many of them mm -hmm. and they will kill you. And yeah, you have derided Christians the Christians for so freaking long. For most of your life you derided them. And now, now it's like, like, oh look, now there's a religion that is an alternative that uh, people don't like. And I don't really like. And I don't want to back off the Christians. Yeah, because you're a fucking but, bitch. But you derided the only force I could actually... Negatively. Yeah. To this degree. I, I, Again, he I he legitimately doesn't... hate this man with an absolute passion. Yeah, I found Because Dawkins he is a slimy son of a bitch. Oh. Well, at least a decade since I first... You know, I, I had a, a... Look, everybody, I think, has a sort of... And I think it's very normal to have a, a kind of... Particularly when you're a teenager in your early 20s, to have He's that He's too old to pull atheist, that freaking card. Yeah, the... But, you know... No, I know, but I'm saying it's normal for people when they're... In their teens or early 20s to have a, a little atheist rebellion stage. Something like that. Like, fuck, God doesn't, doesn't exist. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Same way you have a liberal one against the conservative. Sure, same like... And then you get older, you're like, oh, oh, holy crap, yes. no, conservatism is based, right, right, liberalism yes. sucks because it taxes my balls off. Impossible to know where this phrase originates from, because I've seen it attributed to about a dozen different people, but... Yeah, if you're not a if you're not a liberal by the time you're 20, you have no heart. If you're not a conservative by the time you're 30, you have no head. The age yeah. changes the, the attribution of the... I think Churchill changes, said that. Sure. It's been attributed to like, everybody, Spoon, that's the thing. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I've i looked into it, it actually once. I was like, who said that originally? I'm, Churchill probably did say it at one point, but the, origina the uh, original source uh, seems a little bit murky. Uh, anywho, so it's the same thing, though, is that, yeah, uh, he, he wants... Uh, it's, you know, if you're not an atheist for, like, five seconds when you're a teenager, eh, you know, I'm not saying everyone is, but it's very common. Uh, same oh, thing with you, not everyone's a liberal. Have, have you noticed teenager, that... You know? Virtually everyone I know that is uh, an atheist is just an mm. insufferable pillock. Usually they're very materialistic. Oh, but not all. I, I mean, I, I, I know, I I know plenty of atheists them. who are fine. I know plenty of atheists who are, who are absolutely fine people. It's, it's The problem is not being an atheist. The problem is not being an atheist. It's the militant aspect of it. It's when they... they which Dawkins has always been. A militant atheist. Just saying, like, an atheist... Being an atheist or an agnostic purely an agnostic there's nothing wrong with that uh, it, it's it's the proselytizing of it and trying to destroy christianity which dawkins has it's been his life's work essentially is to destroy christianity and now all of a sudden hmm actually i think I, i'd like to choose christianity i think i'd like to live in a christian britain do you know what he's like the, the person the person that rosalind murray describes in the, the good pagans failure he's exactly mm -hmm. that he's not a christian he's a pagan mm -hmm. and you'll see why in a moment yeah, yeah. Every single time. I mean, it seems to me to be a, a fundamentally decent religion um, in a way that I think Islam is not. I think you're going to have to explain why you say that, Professor Dawkins. Why is Islam profound, well, pro, the, the pro, way, the fundamentally way the, not decent like Christianity? Yes, I mean, the, 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 the way women are treated. I mean, Christianity is not great about that. For, uh, <sighs> That was one of the best things about it. Not great about that. What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh! Women's liberation, which has been, uh, and, and remember that the, the the sexual revolution has made women so happy now, hasn't it, Doctor Dawkins? Oh, wait. Let's. Why don't we go to the statistics on statistics on that, and we look at women's happiness since women got the right to vote, since women's uh, sexual liberation in the nineteen sixties. Why don't we look at? Oh, interesting. How we can track that. Every time we give women more rights, their happiness and life satisfaction rates decrease consistently for the last hundred years. There are more antidepressants than ever before. Problem, is it? Since since the very first sort of measurements of happiness and life satisfaction on on, on major scales, it is consistent data. Female vicars and female bishops and things. Yeah, and they're terrible. But 
there's an active hostility to women, which is promoted, I think, by the holy books of Islam. I'm not talking about individual Muslims. Yeah, they throw, they throw acid in their face if they don't wear a hijab. Or so knows if they do. They run around in rape gangs. Yeah. I think one of these religions is a little bit different from the others. I do agree with that. But how did it have to... What, what, to what point has Britain had to come to for you to make this realization, Dr. Dawkins? Yeah. Where there's entire towns in Britain that are 95% plus Muslim? Where they, they run, basically not, are they really run under Sharia law, not under British law? Took you 40 years to figure that out? This has been happening for 20. I mean, it, it happening very overtly for 20, like in a way that everyone could see. <clears throat> but uh, all of a sudden we have an issue with it now. Curious. So of course, quite, quite different. But the but the doctrines of Islam, the Hadith and the and the Quran, is fundamentally um, hostile to women, hostile to gays. Based. Um, yeah, they throw them off roofs. And uh, based. I find that I like to live in a culturally Christian country, although I do not believe a single word of the Christian faith. What a slimy little worm, dude. What a weasel. So basically, you want the um, least aspects of Christian. You like the parts where yeah. the Christianity was derided into the liberalist form that it is in now. Again, you're not a Christian. Well, you don't he, even he like the, cultural Christianity. You're no. a fucking pagan. Yeah. What he wants, yeah. What, what he wants, though, no, he wants the Female the bishops security. and female priests. So basically, yeah. the, the, the yeah. erosion of the Christian order is what well, you like. They, this he, is he, a, he has I am to, I, f I fucking hate this man like legitimately I can't stand his guts. He he, wa he wants things that are antithetical to each other to exist at the same time. These two particles can't exist in the same place at the same time. You can't have gay and women bishops and and uh, pastors and and be celebrating all this LGBTQ plus hedonistic stuff in the church which you want and then also have the things about Christianity that you like. The By good the way, things, the wholesome things that you grew up in and you got to enjoy during your childhood. And now you see that that young people have, have been totally deprived of. That they don't get to have the kind of wholesome memories of, of Christmas and Easter the way that you did. And I, I'm sure that, that on some level, I hope it really does. I mean, I really hope that it, it eats away at whatever remains of his soul to know that he's responsible in part for this. And I know that it does. And I know where you're going, Dr. Dawkins. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're going to help. <laughs> Uh, that's alright. I, like, I mean, he could turn it around. <clears throat> you can't always turn it around. I like people but, in the box. Uh, uh, I don't care about conservative women. Conservative women can shut the fuck up. Well, conservative women will just gladly shut up by themselves. They don't need to be told anything. Mm -hmm. They'll just accept the rule of the man, mm -hmm. which is what makes them decent people. But uh, someone in the, in the chat just said, um, someone in the chat just said something about women just a second ago. Like, yeah, that, um, mm -hmm. yeah, women we, we prefer to be told what to do. Like, yes, women do mm -hmm. not like thinking. They claim to, like, no, you don't. The women that like to be told what to do. Have you noticed, like, the men who are openly, like, misogynistic and sexist have no problem getting women? Why do you think that is? Yeah. Zero Fox might be in judgmental. No, yeah, you're right. God makes the judgment on that. I told him, I said also, he can always turn it around. He could turn it around. And it is God who, make, who makes the judgment. But, uh, if I were I, God, I, mean, I wouldn't I gotta... forgive this asshole. Well, again, it is up to him. Like, I'm no, going to read the Super Chats now go. for this segment, guys. I might start, you know, everyone else does this, but I might hire somebody to do it is to, to clip the um streams up so we can post them as videos everybody else does that we don't do that um i don't know because that would be a whole that's like a whole other job to clip the stream um anywho uh gary thomas for five says as someone who is only technically a member of the alphabet community i, I can say like the gay this. rights was a terrible mistake i'm also a, a technically a member of the alphabet community and i agree i mean like not gay rights i mean like it's it's it's, it's the the worship of it and I, I've said this many times on the stream, but the reality is that the the conservatives in the 90s were totally right. The Christian conservatives who were saying this is a slippery slope. You let them get married, and they're going to be uh, in the in the schools um, teaching where's, the kids about butt sex. And it Needham? happened. I know, and it happened. Gary Thomas for five again says, as someone who was raised Southern Baptist, putting this faggy holiday in uh, the same as Easter is so obscene as to border on blasphemous. I agree, and that was on purpose. They wanted to make you mad. They enjoy seeing us mad. They get off on it. Um, you know, uh, <clears throat> it's the same high quote, isn't it? I, I posted it in response to this on, on Twitter. Um, 
Uh, I want you to pull up a poll in the meantime. Yes, let me put this on the screen while I do that. Uh, no, I, enjoy you, this you, image. I, I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll make the poll. What's up? Yeah, um, say... What are we uh, voting for? Uh, this, uh, uh... Okay, well, you figured it out. <laughs> um, Dear Taste King for five says, So Spoon wants Korean Jesus, uh, who is the light and the way, W-H-E-Y. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dear <laughs> Taste King. Now, still on the list, yes. 50 ARS says, Crucify me and I'll return stronger than ever, Korean Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, you want to talk? You want to have this debate now? Okay. Yes. All right, all right. Here's the question. I just says if you agree. Spoon and I talked right about. It. I think Spoon, you and I don't actually disagree. I think we were miscommunicating about this. Uh, we don't know. Um, we didn't have the conversation. I want to see what the chat uh, thinks. I imagine the chat probably I talk, agrees. Well, I don't. Because because uh, I talked to I, like I said I talked to Scrum about it. Right. Yeah, Scrum agrees with um, me because I asked him about that. <laughs> Yeah, and when he and I talked, it was like, oh, okay, okay. I think I know where you're coming from now, then. Uh, it's uh, not really a based question. It's more perspective question. Mm, there we go. Two options. Which is it? Is politics downstream from culture or culture downstream from politics? I think it's a little bit... It's a little bit of a complicated question in terms of the nuance of it, but I think where you and I disagreed was over a misunderstanding of some stuff because, <clears throat> well, I'm going to, again, I just had this conversation like an hour and a half ago, two hours ago now, so we'll relitigate it. But <clears throat> while, it's, uh, while we're thinking about that, I'm letting that poll go, let me read these other super chats. I'm saying for two says, speaking of Easter, I find chocolate crosses weird. Yeah, I find that kind of weird too, to be fair. One second. My allergies are still killing me, even though I've taken now three allergy pills today. Yeah, you're supposed to only take one of a day. Um, I hate spring so much. Holy shit. Lance for 10 says, hope you guys are doing well. Today, I'm out shopping at the Bass Pro Shop with my dad. Nice. Who was proud to be a sponsor, who I was proud to be the sponsor of for his confirmation in the church after 25 years. That's amazing. Awesome. Christ is king. God bless. Thank you, Lance. And that's awesome. Very cool. And have fun at Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> Dragon Treasure for five says... What did you make of Lindsay's they want you to react with anger tweet? I hated it. Yeah, I've got it here, actually. Oh, God. Um, Lindsay needs to just <clears throat> shut the hell up. I've noticed uh, so many people who are against Christianity are suddenly realizing that, uh, hey, yeah. look, Christianity might actually have oh, some minute. purpose. It might have some function. Like, yeah, no shit, you dumbasses. So he says, I have a feeling this is going to go really badly for me, but it has to be said. The dynamic must be explained. Yesterday on Good Friday, one of, so he's talking about the trans day visibility thing. Um, this is an ins isn't just an insult to the Christian faith and indeed an intolerable one that proclaims a, a form of embodied Gnostic theosophy that uh, misleads and destroys kids. It's entirely consistent with woke theosophy, as I've discussed elsewhere and may attach here as a thread. But it's more than that. It's also a deliberate provocation against Christians that must be understood. Again, so far, so good. All correct. I agree. A key principle of woke activism is your target's reaction is your real action. That derives from Solonsky's role for, role for radicals, absolutely, and has been codified in the updated activism manual called Beautiful Trouble. They do these provocations intentionally, as I have discussed at length in the past, as a means of stoking a reaction they can use to their advantage. On the reactionary side at present, it must be indicated that there are multiple overlapping active measures to drag faithful Christians into reactionary stances. Okay, I, did, I, I, I disagree strongly with that. This is where he starts to, this is where he falls off. Like, again, good, I agree. Nice introduction he's, here. He's, he's a typical leftist, <clears throat> as in he can diagnose well and then these uh, his then answers he can't are find a solution shit. Now, unfortunately. At least for this, I don't know why he just can't. Um, it, it, it's some like. Why is it on X? Uh, of the atheism stuff. Yes. Huh? Somebody asked, like, why is well, it on X? Uh, because of the audience size. What? Someone asked, why is he posting this on X? Because of the audience size. The oh, reach. yeah. 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 Well, when is the prevailing operation in Christian nationalism, which is the same administration, which the same administration is framing as one of the most dangerous threats to democracy in the world today? Uh, Based, I hope it wish. You have, but you have two, Dr. Lindsay. 
Yes. You have also said that Christian nationalism is a major threat. Yes. You've said it's you have in the past Multiple said times. I believe that it's more dangerous than woke stuff. That's more that it's one yeah. of the biggest threats. You said it's going to be a pendulum swing on the other side. I I could be You're misremembering, but I'm fairly sure you no, said that. No, he did say that. It was one of the things Sagan had to go to for. <clears throat> yeah. Another is the more local and specific. So this is this is the weird pivot. Yeah. Another is the more local and specific radicalization attempt during Holy Week that follows the Christian rhetoric of Christ as King, which he was just just last week was saying that this was anti. Was he saying this was anti-Semitic? A lot of people were. I don't think. I think he did though. Did he also say that Christ as King was anti-Semitic? Yes, he did. So what? I don't understand this. This is why I, I don't like him. I James am Lindsay a little confused, Doctor Lindsay. Like, what? What? Why? What is this pivot? Like, it's because he's Jewish. He's betting for the Jewish side. Is he? Mm. I don't think he is. Well, if you say if you say Christ is King is anti-Semitic, which is oh, what no. he was arguing for, he said there's plenty of Catholics that don't like Jews. I remember it because uh, uh, oh right right right. I, I, I remember the tweet because I tweeted at him. I was like, why is it that? Yeah. Um, why can't you question why the Catholics don't like the Jews? Because I've noticed you were allowed to um, you're allowed to say why the Jews don't like everybody else, but the second the Catholics say why they don't like the Jews, suddenly that's a freaking problem. Why is that you? Fucking son of a bitch. Mm. I don't like that. I hate that. I hate mm -hmm. the fact that this one group can criticize absolutely everyone, everything, and the second you ask, why is it that only you have this advantage and the rest of us freaking don't? And then suddenly, ooh, I'm an anti-Semite for asking that question. Fuck you. He goes Who on the, the hell do you think you are? Which has been successfully tied to an anti-Semitic trope. No, it hasn't. An active measurement to drive a wedge between Christians, Jews, and Christians and Christians, but you were engaged in that. Yes, you were the one pushing it. You actually, yourself <clears throat> were engaged in you were tying actively pushing the it. phrase "Christ is King" to anti-Semitism. He's a tool. Sorry, I have to keep coughing. Man, uh, this has been terrible. I have taken immense, tremendous heat for exposing this active measure, as have many others, which is a testament to its status as an active measure. Sven, can you read for a minute? Because I need to take a break. My voice is killing me. So this provocation published yesterday is overwhelmingly likely aimed to uh, feed into those prevailing active measures, uh, ops, um, into drag Christianity into position of faithful or fruitful reactions that the regime can use to clamp down on them. I like the way it calls it regime. Very reactionary language, by the way. Uh, again, Christian reaction is the real action, and but that's not going to happen. And we know that for certain Christian circles are deeply infiltrated with a chest beating and growing radicalism that is being baited towards association with the growing anti-Semitism. See, there you go. Dude. Lindsay, I don't know if it's, you've noticed it's like this. Speak. The, Lindsay, I don't know if you've noticed this, but uh, we don't yeah. need these reactions to dislike the Jews. We've got literally centuries of history. Uh, I'm, no, I'm not engaging in this. No, 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 no. To suggest that this is a, a recent phenomenon is bull. Like th this is not something that is recent. This is something that's happened throughout recorded history. So to say that this is a recent phenomenon designed to bait them in reaction to like dislike the union yeah, I mean, that's, um, is is complete BS. Whether or not you like the idea. Jews what, or the Israeli know, state, there's no way he doesn't know is, that. Yeah, yeah but they, th that's my point. It's like I don't like the fact that <clears> this they make this sound like this is a recent phenomenon to get a reaction to dislike the particular demographic. No, this demographic has been disliked for centuries. This is not new. I don't like the fact that it's being baited as just a new thing. Like, no, that's complete bollocks. And also, um, Jews versus the Jewish state, very, very different thing. Because I've noticed there's a distinction between a whole bunch of people. There's a bunch of people that have no problem with individual Jewish people. Because, for example, Curtis Yarvin is Jewish. I don't have a problem with him. Yeah. There's people that don't like Jewish groups in power because they tend to do a lot of fuck shit, like the Israeli lobby. Many people don't like them. And there's many people that don't like the Israeli state. By the way, there's Jewish people that can dislike all freaking three. There's Jewish right, people yeah. that can dislike other Jews, this dislike the, There's the lobby. There's plenty of Jews who, who, who don't agree with, with the, the Israelis. Yes, yeah. So, uh, like, this disliking of Jews, to me, is just, like, which ones? Because they're not all the same. Yeah, and what, and what are you referring to? Are you, yeah, are yes. you referring to Zionism as, as, as an ideology? Yes. Are you referring the to the state of Israel? Yeah, it's, are, it's ridiculous to say that I don't like Jews. Are you referring to all Jews as individuals? Are you yes. referring to Judaism as a... And, and if you're referring to Judaism as yes. a religion... What yes. what form are you referring to? Kabbalah? Are you referring to Hasidic Jews? Like again, like it's yeah, yeah you're gonna it's, be yeah. So just say, I don't like Jews. Like instantly Nazis. Like okay, well this yeah. is like this is like standard regime response. What do you mean it's, by yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh my goodness, fetch the Hugo Bastian from like like it's really cringe. It's it, I don't yeah, like the reductionism. It's 
stupid as shit. No, it is. It is reductionist. Yes, but, uh, uh, but it, it's like that way. It's on that way. It's that way on purpose. The same way. It's like Black Lives Matter and trans rights are human rights. It's just meant to use as a cudgel. Yeah, it's just you just you know basically you say You're X bigger. and then I react with Y. It, very simplistic ball yep, yep. Pre 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 scripted uh, reactions to each other. Social reactions. I've not, uh, Kevin. I've actually not been paying attention to the Diddy case. I I try and stay away from like the um this kind of shit as, as much as I can, just because I find it tedious and a bit boring. And there's also many people that are my my more equipped to deal with it um, as far as the the legally side, more so than I would be. Um, like Lionel Nation, I know has been covering it. I would suggest watching Lionel because he's a legal expert and he would have more to say from. Um, uh, a legal analyst perspective there than I would. I'm just like a layman who just has based opinions once in a while. You see, what should you do? Ignore James Lindsay. That's a good start. Uh, <laughs> you should cleave to your faith with wisdom and discernment. You should uh, celebrate your Christianity as loudly and publicly as you want. I agree with that part, actually. And you should do so that the reaction is being solicited from you. Yeah, but you should do so as a reaction just to the, to the left in a way that is just... Um, like a fuck you to them that doesn't really mm -hmm. necessarily uh, antagonize them on purpose that like you just exist because that's basically what annoys them yeah. the most what, you want to annoy the leftists do based shit that basically permeates them without actually engaging them directly again the Curtis Yarvin line great greatness as of your enemies don't yeah. even exist yeah yeah I see and you should do so with whether the reaction is solicited from you pray for those caught up in the trans cult of they arrest you like the, the woman yeah. praying qu praying quietly outside of a uh <clears throat> where was it it was in england yes she, uh, where, where was she praying outside of i don't remember what kind of building it was a church oh abortion clinic yeah abortion, no, abortion clinic. clinic there we go yeah sorry uh, make your prayers visible welcome welcome them to healing and communion even if they're not ready to take it um likewise pray for these evil leaders i do, like this is performative bullshit from you and i don't like it yeah this comes up as performative to me Yes, I, really, I, don't, really, I don't like this coming after weeks and weeks of, of Christian nationalists are the greatest threat to the country. Uh, they're a bigger threat than, than any. Yeah. They're the biggest threat. But now or engage or your faith and pull other people into and, it. And, and Christ is King is, is a anti-Semitic dog whistle. And then and then to make this post, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I'm genuinely yeah. confused. Yeah, I don't like it. It comes off like LARPing. I don't like it. But likewise, pray for these evil leaders if they repent of this wickedness. Again, this sounds like Weasley bullshittery. Uh, pray also these professing Christianity, but not also practicing is seeking the to lead Christianity into error from within. Why do you care? You you derided them as a problem, James. This doesn't make any sense to me. That they repent yeah. and final forgiveness, peace, strength, and ultimately faith. Ah, oh, this is like cringe. Uh, more than that, celebrate your faith openly and on terms that avoid the desired reaction of these enemies of both the church and our nations. Why? That's that's the whole point of doing it. Yeah. Why does it need Again, to be public? Pro proclaim he is risen. Celebrate your salvation through him. You were complaining about this days before you wrote this. I'm so confused. He has no consistency, does he? I, I mean, he does academically. This is just bizarre. Yes. I think he spends too much time on Twitter, and he gets like mad at, at people on Twitter and goes off on like kind Engines. of curious, and then and then has like a, a moments of clarity, and then goes, "Oh shit, I." posted some really dumb stuff, didn't I? It said, do not be afraid, but do not take the evil path that's being offered to you. What the hell does that mean? Um, I think he's saying don't do a violence. Yeah, oh, well, we don't do that anyway. We just probably abandon it. But he, uh, like, his, the evil path is, is reacting violently or aggressively to, like, Biden making a Easter trans day. I've noticed that seems to do very well. Hmm, historically. Mm. But... Why does no one fuck with but Islam? I... Hmm. Hmm. Why is it everyone fucks with Christians? Oh, yeah. Why does the left not fuck with Islam? Oh, yeah. It's because the There's Islamic dead people kick their <laughs> ass. Hmm. I'm not saying you need to get violent, but you need to give the impression that uh, if you do, you will get sure. a sword to your neck. Or, or that there, there will be consequences, yeah. Yes. Some sort of consequence. Yeah. I mean, in terms you, of like, you, 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 you need to be like more mafioso. It's like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a nice flag you have there. It would be a shame if anything were to happen to it. It would be a shame yeah. if there were to be a cross on fire that mm. set fire to that. Oh my god. Mm. Uh, yeah. continue, <laughs> it's like that that kind of a. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, 
I was more than that celebrate your faith openly and on terms to avoid the desired reaction. Anyways, Matthew chapter chest nation. I advise reading Matthew 10 in its entirety in this dangerous time in which your religion is targeted and which you are being targeted and identified for this persecution, which is being set up uh, through provocation. It contains wisdom and guidance uh, for times precisely like these. I find it really weird that a guide that was deriding Christian nationalism as a problem that will be horrible and worse than leftism in the future is also telling me to engage in it. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Like I said, the whole the, the whole post is um, confusing. Yes. Very strange. Uh, happy Easter, everyone, and may the good news of your faith overpower the evil being done against it, uh, not through chest-beating reaction, temptations to evil, but through the power of peace, re repentance, and forgiveness. And that is all at the heart of it. Yeah, peace, repentance, and forgiveness is what has got to us in this freaking place. That's what it is. He, he's saying... Be passive. Be, even, be, be pacifistic even while your, be, your faith is being attacked. Yes. I think that's it. Yeah, because I'm going to just super yeah. in a minute. We're, just, we're finishing up this segment, yeah. That is at the heart <laughs> of it, and all the people in the nation of the world, let's not let this weapon that has been um, forged against you prevail. Keep your faith and keep your head. These are trying times. Uh, that's basically just tell me don't do anything that you haven't done now. So basically be submissive and take your freaking punishment. That's not a suggestion, Sounds James. like it. Sounds let's like just it. be a yeah. doormat. Yeah, that's how it sounds to me. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and get the super chats now. Yep. Uh, okay, right. Dragon's Treasure T for five. Uh, Dragon's, the Dragon's Treasure, uh, whose T I did get in the mail uh, the other day. And actually, I could really actually use a cup of them. I may ask Bill for because uh, my voice is failing me. I've now taken my fourth allergy pill today. Um, it's Do so bad. Do you have whiskey? <clears throat> no, I don't have any whiskey. Everything is uh, better with whiskey. Um, Except sex, it's distracting. Dragon Treasure though says for five. What did you make of? Oh right, the, right. That's why we brought this up. Yeah, I hated it. Uh, Slasher for ten Canadian says the government isn't incompetent or inefficient when they want to be. It's just yeah. evil. They can de exactly, exactly, exactly. That's how you know. It's just like they're like, oh, uh, look, look, no. look how, no, look no, how no, quickly no, they no, they no, cleaned no, up no. San Francisco when uh, Xi Jinping came around. I know they cleaned up that city pretty instantly. <laughs> Don't mix my tea with whiskey. Or no, I would not. Uh, they can desecrate Easter or clean up the city for President G if they want to. The DMV doesn't work because they there hate you. There you go. Exactly. Fuck the DMV. I noticed that the Bronze Age pervert derides the Ew. DMV in his opening statement in his book. One sec. I, st I started reading that, by the way. One sec. Do I hear elevator uh, music? Go ahead. Uh, um, um, shit, this was a bad time to stop. Uh, fuck. Uh... You can, you can have that for 10 seconds. It'll be fine. While we enjoy Xylophone, Aiden is getting drinks. Presumably. Sorry. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. I, I just didn't. Sorry. Um, at the worst time uh, for me. My voice just fucked. Um, what? Sorry, Bill. Uh, Minnesota Fats for Five says, a Dawkins is like most atheists. I can't condone any uh, power above myself or the human being that I can't see or hear. Yeah, probably. I mean, that's more or less accurate, I'd say. Slosh for five Canadian says Dawkins' ego won't let him admit that the Bible hugging rubes uh, that all warned him were right and he was wrong. He can't say he's wrong and he's sorry. No, he can't. That's the whole no, thing. He's he can't an say he's wrong. He's sorry. Prick. Yeah. <clears throat> Yankee Doodle for five says, poo in an atheist food, based. Uh, three member because of for five pounds says, if you're a liberal as a teenager, you're an idiot. If you're a conservative as an adult, you're a coward. Both of these labels are tainted beyond repair. Okay, yeah, the labels are tainted, but I think, I think you in the, I think, the I think in the modern day, we they're tainted. Yeah, sure. I think in today's sure. terms, if you were to agree with that, yes. But I think like traditionally speaking, uh, probably not. What, we're getting, we're using these words as shorthands. Yes, but modern day, yeah, I would agree with that sentiment. Not what actually. they've become, right? Yes. I would agree as well, but just let's be clear about that. That when, what we were saying was uh, about the actual meaning of these words, historically, not what they have been God, my forums, into. My forums look disgusting right now. What? <clears throat> uh, so? um, there's like a grotesque <clears throat> amount of veins in them. Ugh. I think it's the alcohol. I mean, yeah. I hope you have veins in your arm. But... Uh, yeah, but it's like... Uh, snaky like Ugh. like i just took steroids huh. kind of things are you like are you angry um uh no <laughs> i just tend to be quite fast five rick for five says remember when anthony burgess that anthony burgess book about britain being an islamic caliphate was considered far-fetched good times 
Uh, yeah, yeah. We're not too far off. Jakoto345, who's been a member for eight months. Thank you, man. Says, I like turtles. Me too. Gary Thomas for five says, do you guys like too late for the UK? I know um, this is not the first time it has been invaded by savages, but is there another, another King Alfred ready to help? Alfred to help? I don't think it's too late for the UK. I don't think it's, um, <clears throat> I think it's a good idea to not um, be black total. No, I don't have a heart attack. Because things can't. Hey, what what, do, you, what do, do you think is uh, AA's opinion on the no seat <laughs> thing? Uh, AA's opinion on the no seat thing? Yes. I'm pretty sure it's uh, let's go fucking zero seats. Yes. Just a guess. Yeah, but like, uh, <laughs> did you use justification for it? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Bill, thanks. Oh, thank you. Bill has gotten me tea because my voice is completely fucked. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay. Oh, did it? Oh, I've got a meme no, for that. I'm, uh, no, I'm I'm far too vain to be on gear. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Actually, so I, well, I'll finish these super chats and then uh, I, I I need to take at least a second because my I'm can literally barely talk. What would I recommend for maintenance diet? Um, <laughs> as much red meat as you can humanly possibly consume. Uh, um, <clears throat> take for five says the real answer is yes. Culture and politics are the two rivers that flow into each other. There is no start, just the continuum. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, I think part of that might be true, dear T. Uh, for five pounds says, just remember all Israel is a creation of the English Empire, so my people are the true chosen people, and they are, uh, uh, so they and Palestine should bow to their master. <laughs> okay, I mean true, uh, true. Uh, Neon suspenders for five says, here's a few. I would agree rooms. with that if the UK yeah. regime wasn't actually fucking cucked. Hmm. Thanks for all you do. Aiden, have you played Curse of Strahd? Uh, I know about it. I've not played it, though. Our party is finally in the end game after eight months. No, have fun, man. Uh, Mr. Twisted Frenzy for two euros says, have a hot there whiskey, Aiden. It cures all ailments. I would if I had some whiskey, but I do not. Uh, the RTS King for five says, the reason the Irish state is now uh, genuflecting hard towards the Irish people is because uh, the black and tans were more men than the current Irish government are. That's true. I'm going to... Uh, one second here. Uh, Lord Ghana sent They get a royal drumming reason, actually. Yeah, that's oh, there, I have a question for you. How many of you guys drink rum? I drink rum from time to time. Yeah, because uh, I, I I want to buy um, a rum that I've had my eye on for a while. It's it's, it's not the one that mm -hmm. I, I mentioned before. It's a, it's a different one. Um, what are you meeting yourself Chris, did you in, Well, did you... In, I'm going to play a I'm gonna play this little musical interlude. Did you hear, see this one? Mm. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> oh, that sounds based. for the moment of musical interlude so i have zero seats musical inter interlude so i can try to get my voice back and oh my gosh we had two other big super chats come in uh dreadnought for 10 says a new atheist then we will usher in a new age of reason christians then no you'll destroy society new atheist now how could this happen why didn't anyone oh, warn us or they became degenerates and then deadpool kid for a hundred dollars well thank you so much man says 
Personally, I see every human being as a hairless evil monkey. Tribalism is a natural born trait in every cultural aspect. That's true. I don't really believe in supremacy, but to go and dismiss that there are advantages groups have acquired from time uh, from time to time is ridiculous. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Thank you for the huge um huge uh, donation, man. I would like uh, to say uh, I am a supremacist. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I this is a very musical episode, that. just because we've got some some stuff. Uh, yes. We've been messing around with the AI. All right. Okay, next topic is the topic that was put into the chat, which is, is politics downstream from culture, or is culture downstream from politics? And we've had um, over 20 minutes to go through that. So the 66% said politics is downstream from culture. 34% said culture is downstream from politics. So it seems that the... Uh, politics being influenced by culture has it now you're going to argue it's the opposite way around uh yes the 34 percent is correct uh, is I, from politics. I didn't understand where you were coming from specifically with that and i i do have my um little bits of reticence yes my reservations on it because i don't yes. think it's it's entirely that way but i again after having talked to scrumper i was like oh, okay okay i think i i got where you're coming from and i i also yes. tend to agree so i don't know how much of a disagreement we're going to have on this now then yes. but we can uh, maybe my, educate my the reservations audience about it. who are uh <clears throat> mostly wrong <laughs> gonna pull an arrogant like, yeah anarchist bear and i'm be, better than you, you here. Have to be arrogant about it well, <laughs> yes do you i make do the it's funny that it, way ben? then you make the argument for it because uh, you're the okay. one you do you're truly the ones that have pulled me over to this because uh, yes. like, oh, no, I, 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 I was i was more yes. leaning towards the political culture uh if you okay. look at any regimes from the past, any time periods of history, uh, and you look at any civilization, what's the first thing you ask? Hmm. Oh, well, who, who's in power, yeah. There you go. Why? I'm not sure that's the best argument for it. Well, I mean, usually because, well, it can be indicative of the people. If it's a democratic system to a certain degree, although I don't really agree with that. But it's, it's the leaders that's going to end up the people who are going to make decisions for the society. Ah, there you go. And if you were to look at any society, if you look at Rome, Caesar, mm -hmm. Augustus, mm -hmm. Marcus Aurelius. Hmm. Hadrian. Hadrian. <laughs> 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 hmm. Wonder why we picked him. Um, yeah. <laughs> and if you were to look at uh, in in the last couple of centuries, you look at um, uh, who who brought France to its intellectual and uh, influential zenith. King Louis XIV, the Sun King, longest mm -hmm. reigning monarch in all of human history. Mm -hmm. If you were to look at Russia, Peter the Great, Catherine the Great, those are the ones that pushed the arts, pushed cultural reforms. Frederick the Great of Prussia, the enlightened despots, right? If you were to look at England, it measures its ages by the reigns of the monarch, the Victorian age, for example. That would be England's height. If you were to look at even the dictatorial regimes of the last century, you had the Nazis and the Soviets. Look at their aesthetics, look at their propaganda. Say what you like about the Nazis, the Nazis were stylish as shit. Why? That but was pushed um, by the state. Let's address the counter argument, right? And why why it seems to make sense. Because there seems to be, and I think that this is a very modern idea, which is why I also was like, oh yeah, but I thought that as well at first. <laughs> Adrian. About it a little bit. Yeah. I like it the way is, the um, chat instantly knows why we picked Hadrian. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So I, I think, particularly from the, the modern perspective, is, is it this? It's really I think comes out of like the hippie movement of, oh yeah, man, we just make a bunch of art, man, and like, and, and it will change the world, man. It, it didn't work. It doesn't work at all. Those in power still affected everything. Still d dictated the terms. Uh, it, you, yes. I think it is probably true. Then like, I think that what we and how we ended up getting into an argument over this was basically like, what should people be doing? Should people be talking about this stuff? Yes. Or should they be doing something? I think both are have have their place. Should people be making art? Should people be making their own video games? We're really talking about comic books, I think, right? Because it was about a tweet of of um, what are you doing to fight the culture war? And and a lot of people were responding saying like, I'm making my own comic book, I'm making my own video game, I'm making my own thing. And I do think that that's important. I do think it is important, by the way, to have countercultural art, um, to have countercultural movements, but without power. I, they, they all, will always be countercultural. Without organization, they will always be countercultural. Now, through I think these smaller organ, these small you know acts, that's how you can build community in order to gain power. But ultimately, you're going to need the power, and that means you're going to need politics. finance. 
Yes. So in order to majorly influence culture, you need to be in charge of the politics. I agree with that. Yes. Then. So we were going to have a debate over this, but then um, I started to scrum for like 10 minutes. I was like, oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I did want to make a video on that, and that was basically just my contention. We'll do it. That, uh, yeah, it's not going to be very, you still, very long. You still do it. Yeah, it's it's only really like three or four minutes long. It's not going to be very very long. It's mm -hmm. just you know you, you need to sort of look at it from like the perspective of power. Like if if we look at uh, the sweet baby Ing thing, what is that? They're funded by the fucking Canadian yeah, right. state. That's how we end up talking about this. But not yeah, exactly. just by the Canadian state. <clears throat> DHS, yes. the Department the of Homeland Security. Yeah. So like the idea that culture is downstream from politics or um, politics downstream mm -hmm. culture is is rubbish. No, power rules absolutely everything. Whether you like it, it or not, and, and power will dictate what the culture is allowed to be. Yeah, you can yes. go make your 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 art, which you should still do. Don't yeah. stop making your art. Don't give up. Okay, like don't give up on on your art or your whatever you you are passionate about. And also, yes. like not everybody has the same capacity to contribute in the exact same way, right? Like some people who have more more power individualistically, people who have more resources, they can contribute in ways that the artist can't. Probably, right? Doesn't yes. mean the artist doesn't have a place. Right, the art but that if, art does still have a place. Yes, but in, I, in I, movements. It I needs do, to be organized. The problem is we're unorganized. I also think it's because um, previous regimes had a certain aesthetic to them, even in the twentieth mm -hmm. century. And if you even look at America, yeah, if you look nice. at America, um, the the Roaring Twenties were brought about by Calvin Coolidge and Warren G. Harding. Mm -hmm. So you had these regimes where. This is based on like a lot of free market economics, limited government. Like I think Calvin Coolidge is probably America's most underrated president. Mm -hmm. And like his his economic policies largely brought about the Roaring Twenties that America is so very much known for. So like your leader in power there is very much um, sort of dictating of, of how the culture will go. So I think even in America's well, own government, this is a good example of what a, a good executive can do. So Zerofux asks, how is power not a claim of the cultural? What makes you think power is the profession of, pol of the political? Uh, let's 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 use the Gamergate stuff because it, it, it's a it's a pertinent example right now. That all of this DEI crap would not be allowed to exist if those in positions of political power did not allow it to not only allow it to but promote it. Yes, because if it's it's not popular way, within the free market at all. It's not no. The, or look it at Hollywood. Tank studios. Hollywood. Yes. yes. The only look, way that look at the shit. Is look at the look at the politics, yeah, the politics being pushed. Yeah, look at the the politics being pushed right now in video games and movies. It tanks. Mm -hmm. No one gives no a one shit about it. this stuff. Everyone hates yep. it. It is purely pushed by the state. It's sort of crap. Like, it's it's absolute nonsense. <laughs> uh oh. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. It's quite. It's funny. I actually um, uh, tagged Razorfist in a post, and I said to him. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Who's worse between these two four? And he actually said Teddy Roosevelt is worse than Woodrow Wilson, which is quite surprising to me. But he just said, like, basically, Woodrow Wilson was uh, Theodore Roosevelt's lackey. Yeah. Kiss of Her Five says Coolidge, economically speaking, is the US's greatest, greatest president and is only one of two presidents uh, who left with uh, less debt than he started. Let that sink in. Yeah. Holy shit. That's um, insane. Who was the other one? I don't actually know. Not Clinton, was it? No, it can't be. Kinds of factoids. Who else? I don't actually. Know, yeah, I, 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 don't actually know. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of curious. I'm like, it's kind of through my head. Like, which, which president would have left it? Look it up. I guess. Not in the 20th uh, century, is it? I don't know. Has to be before. Again, I have no idea. Um, because if you know, uh, I, I presume you do. Uh, fill us in. Anywho, so uh, yeah, I think we were, we were originally going to argue about this, but. Uh, yeah, yeah I, no. I think that, that we we ironed out the the. I don't think it was again. I don't think it was a disagreement. I think it was no. a misunderstanding because because I thought yeah. you were saying like we'll just give up like just and don't do anything. I'm like, well, you know, it's uh, the point. <laughs> like, or I, this that came off as really really black pilled to me, and I was like, I don't I, I don't like that. Um, I I didn't like. I I think that there's look, you know, I only have so much that I can do. No, I I'm, from my position, there's only so much that I can do, but everybody can do something. And again, becoming organized with with other people. But do you think it's demoralizing? Involved, I what's well, intended to demoralize? I think that saying, "Well, it doesn't fucking matter if you make your comic book; it's not woke. It doesn't matter if you make your independent art, or or, or if you're you're doing commentary." Which was that? That's how they started too, right? Wasn't it? It was something about talking about the game stuff. Is that this is pointless? And it is pointless to some degree. But I well, I think it's, it's pointless a, I to know. react to it. 
That's what I that's that's why I said in my video is the way to annoy mm -hmm. leftists is to um it was, it was Warren, Warren G. Harding. Harding. Yeah, well, Warren G. Harding was only there for two freaking years before he died. Mm hmm He died of a heart attack. It's quite funny. Yeah, that would that make sense then. <laughs> he he was an interesting mm -hmm. president because um mm -hmm. he he had a lot of problems in his administration with corruption. But not him personally. Just like the people around him had a lot of scandals. He was basically a ladies' man, by the way. It's it's quite funny mm -hmm. that uh, the first person when women get the right to vote is they vote for Warren G. Harley. Do you know what's the main reason they vote yeah. for him? Because they thought he was effective. There you go. Yeah, it, 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 it's been consistent. It's been consistent on that. Um, why do you think? Why, yeah, why do you think women overwhelmingly voted for Kennedy? Oh, absolutely. Or for Clinton. Yes. That's that's my thing. Women do not vote based on policy. They're like, oh look, I like no. how he makes me feel like women vote, fucking stupid. Yes, idea. women vote entirely on feelings. Men, men aren't, largely speaking, a whole lot better, but they're better than women, broadly speaking. I take issue with that, as one who owns a penis. <laughs> I'm saying that there are there are men who are also driven by their emotions, the soy boys types, you know. But overwhelmingly, they're not men. yeah, women. Yeah, okay. They're okay. barely people. I get you. I get you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> We had these last these two super chats we just got in, and then um, we didn't actually end up. Yeah, having Tr a debate, Trudeau is basically plastic, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add to this uh, before we move on about this um, power politic, power culture thing? Because uh, I think that again, that if, if if the cult, if the politics wants to shut down your cultural movement, they will. They have. They will put labels on you. They'll put you in jail. They'll call you terrorists. They have done this in the past. They'll do it again. That's if it's a cultural movement, right? It doesn't have its own power behind it. It's only through organization, I think, that you get around that when you have your own power of some sort. Um, Hasa right? Hopper, it, it doesn't mean it needs to be successful. It just means it's what it's being pushed by. Mm -hmm. That's the point I was trying to make. I'm not saying that DEI is successful. Why is it all failing? Yes, uh, because it doesn't says, work. Why it all, uh, that's why it's all failing. But it, these it's people, they fail upwards. It's yes. they basically like the name of some group gets tarnished, right? They just make another one. They just they just rename it. Same people the, again. The Gamergate stuff is a perfect example. There's people involved in this shit now that were involved in Gamergate ten years ago. I mean, on yeah. on the progressive side, they've Alyssa they've Mercante's never lost money. They're still Alyssa Mercante. Has she been around that long? Yeah, I think so. That Lego she's butts a, person's yeah, been around that she's long. She's objectively Felix a whore. Kramer. Yeah. She oh, used yeah, to be a yeah, freaking yeah. cam girl. Yeah. Which a, really a says a lot about her. have been around, living off this grift, for 10 goddamn years. Yeah. Plus. Zoe Quinn, uh, I think, is still sort yeah. of around. Uh, Nita Sarkeesian's still around. Uh, really Brianna like Wu certainly her, is. Brianna Wu's still fucking uh, around and kicking. 10 years. Do these people I get wiped looking out? At the no. It looks nice. <laughs> it's like a nice library. I like the aesthetics. Uh, it does look nice. Mm. Uh, let's see. Yankee Doodle for two says, I just killed a game studio with my freaking mind. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Forsworn or whatever. Was that game called Forsaken? Whatever the fuck that game was. That horrible You want to know how you tank game. a game? Just add Black Woman. That's what they mostly do now. Dear Chase yeah, and then says, every, I, every time it fails. And it's it's so funny yeah. to me because whenever they do that, they instantly require, oh, it's just because it's racist. Like, no, it's because you bathed a whole entire group with your fucking politics and people hate politics. You, mm -hmm. It just happens to be the form that it takes. Mm -hmm. If you, but, but I, I just find it so funny because this one person just said, um, it's the, it's like, oh, look, we, we want someone to be authentic. That's the reason. Like, so let me get this straight. You are basically going to call up a black person and then bathe them in a stereotype that sucks and is boring. And then you plaster them everywhere and you wonder why people don't like it. It's because you made the stereotype boring and cringe, you fucking idiots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so uh, dumb. Yeah, for five says, says, the Christians didn't conquer Rome via the sword. Normally, people involved in the 1848 revolutions backed by any state. So I say it's both. Um, the thing culture, with Rome though. is that, yeah, well, there were a lot of factors involved with, with Rome falling that were not culturally associated with Christianity. I think a lot of that was people seeking Christianity uh, as the empire was collapsing. Um, so there's a lot of factors there. Um, 1848 revolutions backed by the state. Is it both? 
There, people I think masses, there can not be church times. masses, war pigs, lyric in the summer. No, 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 no,
which is curious because Scrum said the same thing to me. Just said like you you were you're too surface. You need to go deeper. And even you said to me you didn't understand my point at first. And then I sent you the script. And you're no, like, I oh, I understand the point now. Yeah, once I read the script, I understood what you were talking about. Yeah, we were just, so we were just um, having a conversation. Yeah, so apparently I I need to speak more. Maybe. Kisses for five pounds says Aiden when you go to LE, uh, scold Carl for saying that woke is liberal when it's Marxist, uh, liberalism or Marxism comes out of liberalism, and part, uh, pop my neck, uh, pop by my neck of the woods, and I'll show you C.S. Lewis's home. It, yeah, I mean it would be cool, but uh, I'm only I think there Marxism for... is cringe. Like yeah, as a cringe. phrase. Well, it actually it comes it comes out of liberalism, but it, it, I mean directly it comes out of Hegel, but yeah. Um, no, but just like in in anywho. general, like the way that everything is just like communism or Nazism is like these phrases are very very boring to me because they, they seem yeah, to be they, they, they very mean something but then people don't use them ever yeah and that, that's why i don't like them it's so. because they they become sort of phrases to um as a kind of yeah. shortcut to basically just describe a certain amount of qualities that one or two people ascribe to and the same way that the right uses the word or the left uses the word not to describe anyone that disagrees with them. I feel like communism and Marxism has become the right way of just categorizing the left. And I feel like if you were to just look at the way the left behaves now and the stuff that they advocate for and how they behave and how they look, I think if you were to look at them, and I had a discussion with Scrum about this, if you were to bring Lenin in today's mm -hmm. society and look at the modern left, he would kick the shit out of them. He would derive the modern left as a bunch of degenerate bourgeoisie fags. Of course, yes. Yes. So do, do, when I look at them and go like, oh, we're communists, like, no, you're not. You're bourgeoisie plebs. You're not communist. Yeah. You're not even Marxist. You're just like drunken power peasants. You, you, I, don't, I don't think you have anything in common with these old regimes. Like you maybe have like the framework, but there's nothing else of value that would signal you part of the old regime in any way, of shape or form whatsoever, other than the rhetoric. But your actions, like, no, you're absolute twats. So yeah. I don't know what the hell they are, but they're just like um, the new breed of freaks. Well, they certainly are that. Would yeah. you like to uh, move on? Yeah, That's sure, go on. Interesting. Interesting update uh, in, as of just today in the uh, New York case against Trump. <clears throat> oh, which is? Uh, yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Oh, <laughs> I just Before we straight out, how long, last how long has that been on the screen? A while. Did I just notice it now? I don't know. Did you put it? By the way, the she, by the way, she looks lazy eye as shit. I think it's like yeah, the fact does. that uh, Trump has ruptured her brain is fucked up her eyes. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Batman for five, real quick, says uh, the only way to win against the woke is not support it. Let movies, comic books, and video games burn. Let movies, comic books, and video games burn. They are a century of entertainment to enjoy. Yeah, exactly. You don't need new stuff. Um, you can play old video games. You can play. You watch old movies. I do. I'm playing S Tricky books. right now. I was trying to. I need to like get this thing because I was trying to play Roller Coaster Tycoon the other day. But that um, game is fun. It doesn't allow you to. It is. It doesn't allow you to alt tab the Steam version. So I have to get the. Um, even though I paid for it, it's like okay. Now I have to go get the the kind of. The naughty but, version. Look, I paid for the game. The naughty version. It will actually let me alt tab. Look, I paid for it. I paid for it multiple times. I love that game. I paid for it multiple times. Could you make can it you, so can, it fucking can, works? Okay. Can you not uh, uh, borderless the thing? No, because it's it's so old and, and the Steam version sucks. Steam's versions of old games often are fucking terrible. Like their version of KOTOR is, uh, it's just a crash fest. Last time I tried to play the first KOTOR. KOTOR 2 is fine, but for some reason, the first KOTOR is absolutely borked. Yeah, uh, see, anywho, this, so, this, this is why I need to get PS2 emulator, because PS2 emulator games are fun. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what I play for, like, just to, to wind down is, uh, like, the old SmackDown mm -hmm. games. Like, Here yeah, Comes yeah. the Pain is really fun just to get a chair and smack the shit out of people. And then pedigree their head yeah. on, a, on a steel chair. Ah, nice, that's nice. good times. Uh, New York AG likely won't see a dime of Trump's fraud judgment until after Election Day. Which will pay for your taxes. Trump's New York civil case, which he, I, I I don't know if you're going to see a single dime, but we'll see. No. <clears throat> former President uh, Trump's New York civil fraud case is unlikely to be resolved by Election Day, according to a former assistant attorney general. A Manhattan appellate court recently gave Trump a significant financial reprieve, permitting him to post a $175 million bond as he uh, challenges a massive $454 he paid it in million cash. judgment. Yeah, I know. The which amount is like a state the judge Chad. determined. Did you see the move, by the way? Yeah, Chad move. Uh, it's the just what? like, uh, how are you paying for it? He just went like in cash and just walks off like absolute fucking yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. 
absolute Chad move. The appellate judges also gave, I mean, like, cause, and also because what they've been going on and on about is Trump's broke, Trump's broke. He's so broke. He doesn't have any money. He can't yeah, pay this. He's and he's just like, oh, I'll, pay, I'll pay the yeah. bond. I'll pay, I'll pay the bond in cash. I don't need to be secured. I'll pay the bond in cash. You're not going to get this money out of him, by the way. No, he's probably, they're probably not going to get the 175. No. Well, no, that, that's, that's bonded. That means that he gets that money back as long as he goes yeah. through the process. But, um, depending, um, <clears throat> according to the judges, Trump does not need to perfect his, it's the, the bond is there. So you don't run, right. That's what the yeah. bond is for. By the way, what the, it's supposed the, to be for, we'll what, see if, what they, if they try to do some sneaky shit is why I said, what, what, what I do like is how he's just constantly berating the court system and just moving it slowly and slowly every time. And every time mm -hmm. they don't get like an immediate win, it drives them fucking insane. Mm -hmm. It's just really fun to watch just Trump single-handedly demoralize absolutely the entire mm -hmm. court system. And also, have you noticed that everyone that attacks Trump in the legal system is black? Except for that, like, uh, um, one dude. That seemed interesting. The one dude who looks like uh, Steven Pinker had a whole bunch of smack. <laughs> he does. He looks like well, Steven Pinker a... that has some problems. <clears throat> Who's that crazy lady who claimed that he uh, groped her in the... Oh, um... Yeah. Uh, John something. Oh, fuck. What's the name now? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> something E. Carroll? Really... Yeah, uh, E. Jean Carroll. There That's the one. Um, According to the judges, Trump does not need to She was the one who was the flirting with the uh, fucking um, yes. Anderson oh, Cooper. So <laughs> Just Anderson the funniest thing. Like, you're hitting a, a gay guy on fucking He's gay. Uh, <laughs> So Trump doesn't need to perfect his appeal until the September court term, which begins on September 3rd, i.e. until all of the documentation is in and ready for oral argument. Uh, Kenneth yeah. Ford McCallion, a former New York assistant attorney general, told Business Insider that in light of that, there's almost no way Trump's appeal will be exhausted by election day. By then, chat, interest by the in the initial 400 and... Huh? You had a big super chat, by oh, the way. James Cole, for 50, says, Happy Easter. I got a nice race, so here's some cheese. Thank you so much, James. I always enjoy catching the stream when I have time. I, if uh, if you could make everyone read one book and watch one movie, what would it be? Uh, one book at liberty or equality? Yeah, I was going to say the same. <laughs> um, or Although, industrial uh, industrial society. Or industrial society is a pretty good one. And watch one movie. One movie. Twelve Angry Men. Because I'd say like the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but if it's just one, um, my favorite movie. Uh, I, I have a hard time picking because I, I I judge movies in by genre like the favorite horror movie, favorite drama, favorite X Y Z. Um, oh, favorite horror go. Annoyed the curse. Hmm. A shit I should call you film. Favorite horror. Ah. Although there's some real bangers from the West. Uh, uh, uh the void. The Holy shining. shit, that one's great. Uh, the Shining is more thriller than horror, I would say. Great one. I keep forgetting the name of it. Um, that that Irish horror movie that was so good that I really like. Um, I keep forgetting the name of it because it's it's very forgettable for some reason. Um, but I really like it. A Dark Song. I really recommend that. But those are just ones I've seen more recently that are more present uh, in my mind. Uh, in terms of like any movie. I don't know. That's really hard. Any movie would be really hard. Like, like which one, just this horror movie. I'll give you a horror movie I'd recommend, which is uh, Norway the Curse. Um, yeah, the, I said Twelve the, Angry Men. A dark Man. song. Yeah. Okay. If I have to pick like a, a all, all time all, overall favorite movie, I'm gonna say the 1998 made for television Hallmark original film Merlin. <laughs> that was an obscure choice. Sure is. I love that movie so much. I was like, um, I, I can give you some like Tom. Three and five. a half hours long. Enjoy. I think it's actually probably closer to four. I think it's like four hours long. But yeah, enjoy. I really love it. Starring Sam Neill. Sam Neill uh, is and uh, Rutger Hauer. And uh, oh, who else is in it? Um, Helena Baldwin Carter and it's just a, bit, a lot of really fun people in it. And and the um, special effects were done by the Jim Henson uh, company. So it's really, I don't know for being a made for TV movie, it's fucking amazing. Okay. Someone <clears> said, <throat> have you watched any Let's mafia movies? Uh, a couple, not a whole lot. You haven't watched The Godfather yet, have you? No. Chat, I want all of you to judge this woman repeatedly and shame her <laughs> until she does. 
Dude, The Godfather <laughs> is like an iconic piece of I don't, American I don't like, cinema. I don't like, I don't like gangster movies. It's not about not gangsters. Gangster it's the fact that it is a drama movie. It's really, really good. I don't know. I'm not into gangster stuff. I'm just not into it's, mafia mm, things. I don't know. I mean, I, I like it. It took me yeah. years to like years, years to get into to Breaking Bad because it's like I'm not gonna want to watch like a, a show about criminals. I don't know. I'm just. It's not my. Arnold, when you say recent, what what is what is recent? Give me a time frame. And you watch Congress all day. I know. True. 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 I do watch criminals all the time. Speaking of. Let's um I'm I'm curious now if, if if we're gonna if we're gonna go by like recent. Because I'm trying to think of like recent movies that I've seen that is good. Like even recent to me is like the last like I named 20 some pretty years. recent ones. I think I named um, some pretty recent ones. Yeah, because yeah, if you're gonna go by like crime or or mafia ones, uh good yeah, horror stuff, you get new, you get good stuff good fellas got it up there. Casino definitely oh, is up there. Uh, oh, uh, other other favorite movies I'd put in there: um, Survive Style Five Plus, and uh, obviously uh, Snatch. Let's go. Oh, yeah, Snatch, there, yeah. look, Snatch is a criminal mo is a movie, yes. sort of about criminals. I, I like that although one. Although I think Lock, Stock, I like and Two Smoking Barrels is better than Snatch. I, I it's really hard for me to pick, but I think I prefer Snatch out of the two. Is it because of Brad Pitt? I do love Brad Pitt's uh uh traveler accent <laughs> it's kind of amazing <laughs> you're not going anywhere you take home you stay till the job's done <laughs> it's a really easy accent to do yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right uh oh, man. Sorry, Can't I got this days, fella. <laughs> by the time voters said to the polls the total judgment oh by the way it's gonna he's gonna have accumulated an extra 28 million in uh interest by the time this goes through yeah hmm. this is totally not just a it's not political persecution or anything. By the time voters head to the polls, the total judgment against Trump and his co-defendants will have increased to 494 Yes, million. I have seen Ford versus McCallion, Ferrari. I still have a copy of it. <clears throat> McCallion predicted that it will be September or October for oral arguments. We're definitely looking at after the election for their decision, said McCallion. It's really quite unprecedented, he said, of the timing. McCallion also noted that Trump's legal team has already suggested that they are willing to take their appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court, which they absolutely should do. And they will do, by the way, because it's absolutely criminal what they are doing to trump um and uh it's gonna get shot down it, it will be because it's it's i think i've even heard some rumblings from scotus already that like everyone knows this is illegal everyone knows this is a political persecution not prosecution <clears throat> persecution yes yeah, it's, it's over um, it's, um, could be well as a president yeah. going after president so yeah <laughs> yes we could be well into 20 by the way and if they can do this to the president think what they can do to you think what they can do to any of you any of you, yeah, but any you, regular but you, person, yeah. they can destroy but, but, you in a second. Yeah, with but lawfare, financial yeah. ruination. If, if, if you're on the left, I mean, again, the reason why they they are cheering for this is because all they have known in their pretty much the entire lives, most of these people, is being in power. The left, even though yes, yes, the conservatives in terms of <laughs> you know uh, have been in power, but they haven't culturally been in power. Bring that back up, but like, and but more. Culturally, they haven't been in power, but also politically, they really haven't. They haven't They're as in power, in power like as the fucking years. Tories. Right. The the, the mm -hmm. conservatives have been in power in the United States for the last fifty or so, <laughs> so much as as the Tories are in power. Yeah. Even if they yes, even if they have majority seats, even if if their president is a, is a Republican, it doesn't matter. We the right wing has always been losing ground for a very long time. Yeah. Over the, 20 the years. people in charge of the oligarchy, in charge of the deep state, it's been the left. That's yeah. why they're not afraid. That's why they will do stuff like this, because they know it will never be turned on them. <laughs> they don't mind making these precedents, because they feel safe and secure in knowing that it won't happen to them. Yes. Because they're the ones in power. And that is why they're the, the right power. needs to be more aggressive. <clears throat> yep. Probably needs to get in power and go like, <laughs> I have reins of the executive, and uh, I'm yeah. going to start. Um, I'm going to start wielding extraordinary executive powers. Yep, uh, we could be well into 2025 before New York Attorney General Letitia James sees any money, McCallion said. I do think the appellate division is shooting the I Attorney General in the foot by not taking that. this on the expedited basis <laughs> and cutting him a break. Cutting him a break? You're trying to do illegal shit. You're trying to charge him full, nearly $500 million. That's a curious way to start that. And paragraph. run away with it. And run away with it before the election. Look at that. Well, that's the problem. That is that many of us believe that this uh, much of this cannot yeah. stand. That's curious. Uh, curious language. Believe. Yeah. Basically, the law yeah, is not up for debate. 
Well, technically, technically speaking, it shouldn't be. John Turley. Can you search her for me? Right. It's, it's Legal Jonathan expert Turley. Jonathan Turley is signing off on A.G. James for her case against Trump. During an interview on Fox News, Sean Hannity and Turley spoke about a New York appeals court ruling to postpone the payment of Trump's $454 million civil fraud penalty resulting from James's lawsuit. Instead, the former president was instructed to pay $175 million bond, which Trump has paid. And it began by saying, I would say is that if we're going to talk about phone evaluations, I have shown in this empty lot two acres on the ocean of Palm Beach for sale for a whopping $200 million. Mar-a-Lago is 22 acres. It has Oceanside. It has Intercoastal. It has over 58 bedrooms. Other properties. God damn, Tron. Uh, other properties or cottages on the it's facility. Yeah, it's got two clubs <clears throat> associated with it. It's in great shape. It is a historic property. It's worth closer to a billion. A far more egregious valuation error, if you will, than anything they can even claim Trump did. How did they get to the stand, Jonathan? Well, that's the problem, is that many of us believe that much of this cannot stand. But first, he has to get in front of another judge. And the problem with the bond mm -hmm. is that it's being used as a punitive device. I mean, mm -hmm, James is constantly mm -hmm. threatening to take over these properties, like she's going to pull a lock on Trump Tower. And it's thrilling to many people in New York, Charlie began. Mm -hmm. But for many of us outside of New York, uh, you look at this and you go, come on. I mean, you have a judge that comes with a number that none of us can understand. And because mm -hmm. he did that, Trump would have to sell off properties in order to get someone to say you were excessive. He could just come up with one billion and made it impossible to find a bond instead of half a billion, which is almost nearly as impossible. The fact is that Trump's business is largely in real estate, of course, because he doesn't have liquid capital. It's and and that's that's why, mm. and this isn't intentional, <clears throat> is that she? That's why she keeps saying, "I'm going to come and take your properties," because that's yes. where Trump's money originates from. Is yes. his property? Yes. So what Letitia James is doing here is she wants to be able to seize Trump's property to try and bankrupt him by removing his source of income. Yeah, and it's pretty obvious what's happening psychopaths. here. Yeah. Well, that's he, why, yeah. But Yeah, he said that it's not good if you have to float a bond because they want the cash, and it's just the nature of the business. Mm -hmm. Now, the judge could have recognized that. There is no the funny thing about being in real estate is that those buildings are not going anywhere. All right, right, is right. guaranteed that he won't leverage his interest in that property, which you can do with another mm -hmm. device, but they are fixed assets. So the judge could right. have said, you know, we're going to try to come up with another way of doing this so that is my award, not a barrier to appeal. He refused, and of course, James is refusing to take any modest steps out of concern for due to process, or out of concern for due process but exactly just just to be clear about what, what was said there is that trump should have been able to use his real estate holdings as part of the bond but yeah, so like, here's what yeah, my, my assets something. are worth right and he's yeah. <clears throat> it'd be ridiculous for him to sell them for the exact reason that if he sells them he, that's his source of income yeah but instead she's saying actually no you can't put up your assets for the bond which would make total sense because and instead, I just want to take it from you. I'm going to take your assets so then you can't pay it. Because the whole point, again, is actually not for him to pay this. It is to bankrupt and destroy him because this is a persecution and campaign. It is evil and, and it, it's it's overt to anyone absolutely not also evil or retarded. I hope Trump gets in power and goes full penetrate. I like mean, I, 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 that be uh, yeah, but like I want Trump to be as absolutely despotic and out of control as he can because no one can do anything and because the regime would lose their fucking minds. It'll be funny. Yeah, we'll see. Doubt. Trump, if you get back in power, you've got four years to basically just behave in any way the hell you want. Um, first of all, your, your job is to instantly smash the security state. Yeah. That is the I first don't think thing he will, but um, it's good on Charlie I, to explain this. I, I don't know what he's going to do. I do like Charlie. Yeah, Pinochet Franco would be nice, yeah. <laughs> All right, where were we? Ah, oh. wait, 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 where were we? Uh, fixed assets, there we go, yeah. down lower, here we go. All right. Where, where, where um, were we? <clears throat> I think, uh... yeah, yeah, I think here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's something because he added uh, that's what I think is being used by James as a form of punishment and I think it's being used by the judge in the same way by coming up with his big number knowing that his assets are in real estate Charlie said yes there's a lot of ways that you could fulfill the purpose of a rule the purpose of the rule is to make sure that defendants don't empty their accounts flee the jurisdiction avoid payment his assets are fixed you can get agreements yep. that he can't transfer the value he can't leverage these buildings he added you what's Trump gonna do the take yes. the building with him no obviously not uh, you can accept. I mean, the this is what I'm, this is the the obvious absurdity of it, right? Yeah, of course. You can accept a $100 million offer he made in addition to those collateral guarantees. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do this, but there is not a will because people are enjoying this. When you watch the news, people are thrilled, and that is what has emerged our legal system, not just with politics, but a rather sick form of entertainment. Or rather sick yep. form of entertainment. Like, yeah, th that's how you know it's this is just bollocks. Yeah. yeah, it's 
Yeah. So you're basically trying they to just bankrupt him. want to see him, him get yeah. punished. Yes, which means that your politics is basically a shit show. Uh, here's a little... Like his nose into it, because he can't help himself, of course. But, uh, turns out... Ah, John Stewart, the, uh... He doesn't over... like it when the microscope's turned on him. Oh, yes, because He's it turns out that he, like, he was massively defrauding the value of his... He's overvaluing the... Yeah, but like a shitload. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't by a bit, it was like multiple... Wasn't it like multiple times over? 829% overvalue. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, he is yep. a Jew, so what's not surprise? Well, just saying, you're gonna whinge about this. Uh, don't have the skeletons in your closet, John. We're talking about a victimless crime. They find uh, an ordinance or a law that has never been used ever before in anyone else. Yep. He's committed bank fraud where there's no victim. It wow. makes no. It makes no sense. No victims. There was no victim. The ruling is blatantly unfair. That didn't go over very well with the investment community because we're all asking each other, who's next? Ah, oh, who's next? The persecuted minority of the investment community. First, first they came, first they came for the arbitrages, and I said nothing. For I was not an arbitrager. And yeah, look, he's gonna waffle on with us. Uh, how about you? How about you be yeah. next, John Stewart? In 2014, Stewart sold his <clears throat> 6,000 square foot Tribeca penthouse to financier Prague Pandy for 17.5 million. However, according to New York City property tax reports from 2013 to 2014, the penthouse estimated market value was listed at just 1.9 million. The assessed value used to calculate Stewart's property tax was even lower, 847,000, according to the Post. This means that Stewart paid significantly lower property taxes based on that low assessed valuation, depending on selling the home for over nine times the stated market value. Pandy later resold the penthouse in 2021 at a 26% loss from what he paid Stewart, the report That's said. That's basically fraud, isn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, yeah. Hmm. And unlike Trump, there is a victim. This Pandy guy, right here. Overpaid because Jon Stewart, uh, massively overvalued the cost of his home to make a buck. Oh my god. I've been caught doing something remotely not something not remotely dissimilar to Trump. No, it's way worse actually. I was, I was about to say that's that actually, yeah, it's, it's true. You, you yeah, that, that is technically true. You're significantly worse. You defrauded another person directly by yes. overvaluing the the cost of your property by 800 times, right? Is it 800%? 800%? Yeah. yeah, times, sorry, percent. Um I guess all I need to do now is start a college, start a fraud college, steal classified docs, bankrupt casinos. You can't steal a classified documents casino? if you're the president, you fucking moron. Yeah, idiot. Um, start a fraud college, which just, because <clears throat> you don't like it doesn't make it a fraud. God. Pay hush money. Uh, proofs. You want to do it like, like Biden? You know? Yeah. Well, son of a bitch. Yeah, grab pussies. Yeah, because right, no rich person has ever done that. Well, son of a bitch. What do what? <laughs> Victor Shok in there, John Stewart? Uh, grab, grab pussies. Discriminate yep. in housing. By the way, discriminate housing basically means I will not hire people who don't have the fucking capacity to pay my renting fees. Yeah, if you can't. Yeah, it's that if you can't pay it because you have a ter because you have terrible, terrible credit. Uh, credit <laughs> it doesn't matter what race you are. That's why. She did gold. gold. When was it who gold? cares? I, even if he did, who gives a shit? And foment insurrection and you'll revere me. Uh, no, no, we won't revere you God, because you're an absolute fucking ball. cringe twat. Yeah. Absolutely sickening. What a loser. I, I, I love this. Disguise, yeah. Just a hypocrite. Just another fucking hypocrite. Of course, yeah, of course, because again, they don't care about this. They don't give a single flying fuck about any of this. It's just power politics. That's the only thing they give a shit about, is trying to nail Trump to the wall. And again, like I said, if they do it to Trump, they will do it to you. They do not give a damn about anything other than fomenting their By own way, power. They, they don't give a shit. They hate you, just, you. They hate you. Don't you just like how these people, when they behave in power, they behave like the absolute worst pieces of shit that you like actually. Like, I can sort of see the, the reaction of like, why do you not want certain people in power? It's because they behave like these people. Yeah. Is they're just like these people, like the John Stewart's of the world, these are just absolutely deplorable pieces of shit. Like they're just objectively yeah. immoral 
crappy human beings. They're, they're what yeah, I would they call low-value human stock. Like if I look well, at they, you from they like they do uh, not have. <clears throat> they morals. don't have their moral system is based no, but because their morals power. are based on power. Yes. So as long as they win, then they believe they are behaving morally. Yes. Because but, they but, see their side being in power as inherently moral. Yes. There is no other morality but power for them. But if you were to look at They'll these people from uh, uh, a sort of global perspective across a, a time scale, mm -hmm. no, these are just objectively inferior human beings. Like, yeah. across the time scale, they're just, like, inadequate twats. We're going to move on from Trump to oh, Biden. Oh, this is funny as shit. Jill Biden. <laughs> I love how... This is really funny. <laughs> this is RNC research being cheeky. RNC research here being cheeky by saying Jill Biden, I like RNC doctor research, of education. Funny. Yeah, do making sure that you call her Dr. Jill Biden. We should be very clear. Uh, yes. This is hilarious. Uh, but when these polls, like the Wall Street Journal one, land in the White House and he's losing in all the battleground states... Then... No, he's not losing in all the battleground oh, but states. He's coming up and he's um, uh, even or doing better. So, mm. you know what? Mm -hmm. Once people start to focus in and they see their two choices, mm -hmm. it's obvious that Joe will win this election. Okay, let's break down. Let, let, let's, let's start at the first one. He's coming up. You are admitting uh, from step one that he's behind. Yeah, you just like said in, he's in not order behind, to come and then admitted that yeah, that is the, the order my position is behind. Like your instant first fucking words out of yeah. your own mouth is you fucking, you fucked up immediately. Fucked up immediately. Stupid. You immediately fucked up. He's not behind. He's coming up, meaning he's behind. Meaning he's and then behind. Yeah. Two, <laughs> and then two. The second that people figure out who their two options are, Trump has been the presumptive nominee know? for over a year now. Trump has been the presumptive nominee. For the last four years, not the presumptive. Everyone knew it was going to be Trump. No one ever seriously believed it was going to be DeSantis. Yeah, and also the more no the, one... the close the closer we get to the election day, the more Biden mm -hmm. tanks and the more Trump's numbers go yeah. up. Yeah, so exactly. the, wh wh how, what the Service. fucking hell are you doing right now that is going to make uh, your drunken shithead a crackhead of a, oh wait no that's the son uh, the yeah, dementia yeah, riddled fossil twat um, suddenly spike in approval rating in any fucking way shape or form this is pure Cope. distilled copium yes uh, it's not but you can you can slurp all the copium you want Jill uh, I don't think that's uh, I, I don't think people are buying it uh, Joe Biden flew 90% of illegals in secret flight program to Florida and Texas. Mm, so here's curious. the migrants arriving in Biden's flight program. Look at these. San Francisco, 4,500. Chicago, 1,500. LA, 8,000. Boston, nearly 5,000. Baltimore, nearly 4,000. Atlanta, 4,500. Houston, 22,000. Miami, 326,000. How's those states' rights Florida, working out for you guys? Purple state. Mm. Eh, it's leaning more red, but 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 potentially a purple state. Houston or uh, Texas also potentially a purple state. Why are they shipping them all there? Why are they not shipping them to San Francisco and and Chicago and Boston, blue. Baltimore? Because they're already solid blue. They don't need to ship them there. Mm. They don't need them. They don't need them there. I mean, that's just obvious what's happening here. Uh, that's why they're shipping them to these places. Uh, that's now at the same time. While they're doing this, NBC, I'm going to see actually the dates on this. This is April 2nd that this that Jim Hoff wrote this. Love Jim Hoff, by the way. Uh, always does good work. Uh, NBC reports on March 31st, so just three days earlier, they came for Florida's sun and sand. They got soaring costs in a culture war. Florida has seen a population boom in recent years, but many longtime residents and recent transplants say rising costs and divisive politics have them fleeing the sunshine state. Mm, I wonder why. So people are fleeing Florida, which is why you had to import 320,000 immigrants? Mm. Is Florida a shithole? Or why are you... So, well, Joe Biden, if Florida is such a shithole, why are you sending all the immigrants there? You should send them to, to lovely, beautiful, clean California. Excuse me. No, you're right with California. I know, I was being facetious, though. Uh, anyway, they, they, you get the gist. Uh, we know what's happening here. So there's a bunch of people leaving Florida. Not a bunch. It's a couple. I actually, this is, they've done this before. This is always performative. When I say a bunch. It's like five people making a stink on Twitter. Big lefties talking about, I'm going to sell my Florida home because Ron, De or not, because um, uh, the Santa's makes me uncomfortable. And oh, my, my, I can't trans the kids here anymore. They won't leave, by the way. Remember when they did this shit when Trump was elected and they all said they were going to move to Canada? 
Yeah, they didn't do that either, did they? They're, gonna, yeah. they're not going to fucking leave Florida. They're just, this is all performative. It's stupid. I can't stand it. It, it look, this article. By the way, going, going from America, cares? Going, we from all America know going from America to Canada because you don't like it, that's like leaving the Nazis only to go to the Soviet Union. Oh, yeah. Well, at least they'll they'll uh, let you kill yourself in Canada. The government will do that for you. So <laughs> this is actually kind of interesting related to like the movie and uh, the people moving in. Have you been hearing about you this You were way too casual crisis? about that joke. Well, excuse me if the Canadian government wasn't also know, casual that about was, that was fucking killing heavy. people. I'll stop being casual about it when the Canadian government stops being casual about it. How about that? So God damn, Aiden there's been a ton of these articles. Today. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> there's been a ton of these articles over the last couple months or years of uh, really the last Most year of these or so. come from Tim Pool. Yeah, a lot. Well, Tim's been covering it a lot of all of these squatters. Because basically what, what's been happening, we'll look at some of them in specific. Oh, you said squatters. In, 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 you, said, you said swatting a couple of minutes ago. Oh, squatters. I think oh. Tim's been covering that too. You no, said squatters, squatting. That's, that's why I said Tim. Like, I'm fucking confused for a second squat as in to yes. do they just walk into someone else's house or they they rent and then they don't pay and then they can't they they say squatters rights i can't be evicted i'm living here and essentially so um woman in flushing was arrested on february in february for charging changing the locks on a vacant house she owned after she found two men camping uh, out camping out inside it's not fair that i as a homeowner have to be going through this uh, adele um and deloro said of the standoff the same week another queen's family this time in douglaston said a squatter living in their newly purchased $2 million Dutch colonial was both refusing to move out and claiming that he was the rightful tenant. <clears throat> a few days later, refusing place, to move out. Because like, they're claiming squatter's language, rights. Yes. But even they that language. My, like, I'm you, living here. No. Yes. Fuck you off. can't evict me. It's my right as a... You are my, it's my right. private property. They don't believe in private property. They're a bunch of commies. I mean, maybe they do. They believe in their own right to their own property, I'm sure. But they don't have any. A few days later, the police busted an alleged squatter uh, in the Rockways in a house full of malnourished animals, DJ equipment, and drugs. The most horrifying case, a woman was murdered in Kipps Bay after walking in on what police say was a pair of teen squatters who had been staying in her late a mother's vacant condo. I mean, this is just, it's, it's just, it's all over the place. Um, things are feeling a little um, anarchic in the world of housing right now. And one, <clears throat> and one reading the tabloids, watching the local news, they're about to defend this, by the way. Um, could easily think squatters have taken over the city. By the end of March, yeah. the issue had traveled uh, enough to reach philosopher pundit Joe Rogan, who devoted an entire episode to New York's bananas tenants, tenant laws that are allowing people to steal other people's homes. Uh, like they put that in quotes. Um, it's literally what's happening. A state assembly member has introduced anti-squatting legislation because he says there is virtually no recourse for when someone is gaming the system here. Gradually, you can see something like a panic emerging. So is it really squatter season in New York? Yes. In terms of hard data, it's impossible to say. The city doesn't keep a squatting database. Oh no, my no, god! Because it never needed to, you fucking idiot. Because it was illegal. Because they don't. Not only because they don't need to, but it's hard to find this stuff out. A lot of people are living in vacant houses, and they're just squatting there, so you don't know that they're squatting a lot of the I'm time. Saying, I squat you know? 160 pounds. I don't squat with the weights. I just <clears throat> squat on one leg. <clears throat> yeah. Uh... Yes, I can do pistol squats. Illegally, a squatter is only somebody who entered the unit without any permission in the first place. That's called trespassing, by the way. No, you're also a squatter if you are there and you're not paying anything and you're supposed to be. If you, you've rented the apartment and you're not paying and then you're saying, I'm not going to leave, go fuck yourself, you're still a squatter. Technically. Technically. And I don't even know if that's legally, too, by the way. You're just... This is splitting hairs. Splitting hairs. So while you can't gain ownership of a house by sneaking into one at night when no one's looking, the man in Douglaston, Brett Flores, much like the uh, man in Flushing, Brian Rodriguez, does not seem to be making what appears to be the alarming use of housing law. But even that, so they're just, they're just, this whole article is just going to play it down. All right, look how long it is. They're just going to play it down and say, it's no big deal. Just let them do it. What's the problem? That's always what they're, they're saying, right? Who cares? No one's being harmed. Just let them stay there. They're just hanging out. They, they're probably really poor and they just need to be able to stay there. You know, they just need to stay. Uh-huh. Um. How's this? Fed up homeowner, or home, homeowner arrested after tense standoff with squatters stealing a million dollar home she inherited from her parents. The homeowner was arrested? Yes. No. Being arrested. For what? For being, for, being house, in my, for being in my own home. Yep. 
woman, Queens homeowner being arrested for eviction following a fire standoff with a bunch of squatters. This is this woman, um, Adele uh, Adeloro. Recently nabbed after she changed the locks on the million dollar home in Flushing and says she inherited from her parents when they died. Um, and they arrested her. They arrested her for telling the people who were living there without paying rent to get out. Insanity. The ordeal erupted when she started the process of trying to sell the home last month, but realized the squatters had moved in. So I don't even think they were paying, paying rent. These people just moved in. They just found the house abandoned. Like, we're not abandoned, but it, it was not being occupied. So they just moved into it. She changed the locker, kicked them out. And then they said, squatters rights. Squatters rights. After just, in New York City, a person can claim squatters rights after just 30 days of living at the property. So if you've lived in someone's house, just because you've been crashing in it, without their knowledge, for 30 days, you can say, this is my home. You can't evict me. And then they arrest her. Basically, these people just stole her home that was left to her by her parents. I mean, th this is this is New York City. How's it going, leftists? Excellent. That's what they want. Uh, I mean, this is what they, they, they vote for this shit. They have no respect for anything. And and they're all, like, it, it's, it's so endemic in their mindset of, give me, give me, give me. Uh, I just deserve things. And anyone, if you, you know, they're going to say, well, she was given the house by your parents. They worked for it. Okay? You didn't work for shit. This is my house because I lived here for 30 days. This is this is an endemic mindset on the left. And, you know, they voted for it. I, I feel bad for this woman, but I don't I don't feel bad for the city of New York overall. I just think you should all have to stay there and you should be able to leave. Uh, stay there and sit in your filth. Uh, alleged squatters, uh, squatters, squatters serve up $25 Shake Shack receipt to claim a 930,000 New York City home is legally theirs. Two squatters served up a $25 Shake Shack receipt among several pieces of evidence they claim shows they have the legal rights to live in a $930,000 New York home. Rondi L. L. Francis and Lance Hunt sued Dennis Curland and Julia Fullman, the owners of a duplex on Lakewood Ave in Jamaica, Queens, on March 14th after they were kicked out of the property. <clears throat> the Shake Shack delivery receipt was presented in court by a lawyer representing the two men suing a queen's couple claiming they were unlawfully locked out of the residence so here's a couple that owns the 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 estate i wonder do we have a picture here of the squatters jesus h christ um the pair wants to force the court wants the court to force the owners to give them a key to the front door and grant them permission to change and grant them permission to change the locks the suit lists the starting date of the lease as the 1st of January 2024, claiming the men received an application approval letter and a lease from Top Nest Properties, the real estate company that handles the home. According to the document, Francis and Hunt paid $4,000 to cover the security deposit and first month's rent. Uh, and stating rent was dutifully, dutifully paid in February and March. Mm, doubt. Uh, Curlin and Fullman, whose records show own the home, uh, told the Post that the documents presented at course were fraudulent. Everything they were presenting is fraudulent, Curlin said. And w look, you can find this out real easily in terms of the bank records. What if, I wouldn't be surprised if they would do this, though. They're just like, look, we paid for it, and they Photoshop something. Because why would they be afraid? Why would they be afraid? They know that, that the New York government is on their side, will do whatever the fuck they want, because squatters' rights. The leftist shithole. You have no rights as a property owner. They hate you. Remember, these people hate you. However, and here's how much they hate you. Remember how all the leftists were clamoring? We're so happy. Finally, we can get a living wage. $20 an hour. Minimum wage in California to flip burgers. Uh, guess what? How's that going, Spoon? Um, well, typically speaking, if Come. you do this, uh, you, you inflate. And which means the yeah. dollar loses purchasing power. So your increased uh, total amount of money doesn't mean jack shit because it's worth less. Yep. Welcome now, to funnily basic enough, econ. <clears throat> yeah, funnily enough, the $20 minimum wage in California went into effect on April Fool's Day. But, <laughs> I digress. 
So among the chains announcing cuts ahead, so basically, uh, here's the thing. Uh, if you work minimum wage in California, you're not going to have that job anymore. As Spoon and I could have told you, and I'm sure did when we briefly touched on them, them proposing this months ago, or however long ago, is that, um, well, I hope you like not having a job, because you're, <laughs> you're not going to have one at, at $20 minimum wage. It's for the automation when the chains, well. Right. You're going to get automated. Anybody mm -hmm. who's not a retard could have told you that. Among the chains announcing cuts ahead yeah. of a $4 increase in minimum wage are Pizza Hut and Round Table Pizza. The state's minimum wage will rise to 20 Yep. Uh, fast food workers are losing their jobs in California as more restaurants and chains prepare to meet the $20 minimum uh, wet. Minimum wage set. Minimum wet. <laughs> restaurants making cuts are mostly pizzerias. Uh, according to a report published by the Wall Street Journal, multiple businesses have plans to axe hundreds of jobs as well as cut back hours, freeze hiring, report shows. Yeah, they're just going to look. Here's the thing. They're just going to automate. That's it. There's going to... Um, businesses that feature ice cream, coffee, boba tea, pretzels, and donuts could meet the definition of a fast food restaurant covered by law and therefore be covered under the $20 minimum wage um, uh, law. Anything you sell. It is absurd. Uh, businesses are just going to... They're just going to automate. You're gonna, you won't be able to have a job. It's ridiculous. I, yep. I, I mean, like, I don't understand. They just don't understand basic econ even a little bit. It's because they don't Maybe they to. do, and it's just... No, they're not They're not trying to, and maybe they, they do, and they're just doing it. They're intentionally being retarded. Wendy's McDonald's shop customers with time limit for eating inside. The rules are here for a reason. This is this is the same thing. I, I bring this up because I think it's out of the same thing. They can't hire employees to... And people are going to come here and squat. They're going to come here and hang out. Because people are going to take advantage of it. There, there's no more social cohesion. There's no social niceties left. People, there, there's no. It, it goes back to the thing actually that Dawkins was saying, right? And they're like, oh, I want to live in a Christian, a culturally Christian society. Well, this is what your atheism gives you: a morally bankrupt society where Wendy's has to say, Wendy's and McDonald's have to say, you can't be in here for more than twenty minutes because we know that you're here to steal from us and to loiter, and to and by loitering I mean they don't. They're probably homeless. And, or 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 they're you know whatever uh and they're they're not there to eat your food they're there for your wi-fi and they're there to hang out they don't they're not there to to be customers so now wendy's and mcdonald's have to put these kind of signs up that you can't for you can't 20 minutes while consuming food 20 minute maximum to sit in the mcdonald's and eat your sandwich you can't sit in the mcdonald's and enjoy it no i mean this is all like these are on like new york city and other leftist shitholes, uh, California, New York, or the places I've seen this where they, they said that this basically is degenerate LA. families with no morals. Yeah, well, why do you think it is that New York and, and LA are the, the cities that have to say you can't sit in the Wendy's for more it's than 30 minutes? They've got too many blacks, they've got too many people coming in and and yeah, loitering. Yeah, it's this one specific demographic. If it was a demographic that didn't cause trouble, they wouldn't give a shit. Yeah, look, even the Redditors are aware of this. Uh, vagrants will vagrants will pull up and literally take up three booths with their belongings for hours buying a single soda. And if uh, the sign isn't there, they'll fight the staff. They're going to fight them with the sign anyway, you idiot. You can thank a-hole teenagers for this. Uh, sure, sour strawberry. It's asshole teenagers. Sure thing. Sure, I mean, there's probably an animal that truth to that. When you Some, say teenagers... Maybe, but uh, I don't think it's the... <laughs> so... I've known Let's, when the um, regime says uh, teenagers, it's always a... <clears throat> right, it's always a certain uh, youth, shall we say. Um, yeah. We did bring this... I want to talk about this just really briefly. The oh, Scottish this, hate crime bill. That, that's going to end up really, really bad. The Scottish hate crime bill? Or yes. J.K. Rowling saying she doesn't give a shit? <clears throat> oh, okay, to be fair, J.K. Rowling... Let me just say, if you're a right-winger and you defend this bitch, you are a fucking moron. I know where you're coming from with that. Um, yes, because she, anyway, she, she hates you. Uh, like, she, she hates you too. She is leftist I mean, look, I like in her books, every but, yeah. single fucking way. And she, oh, look, I, I, I want the right to basically deride trans people. Or it's like, mm -hmm. speak on. Someone said something very interesting. She's just said any woman who speaks about this, like, ah, it, that's an interesting choice. Mm -hmm. Women. So if you're a man and you say this shit, the regime will come for you and she will not give a fuck. Because she hates mm -hmm, men. Mm -hmm. She is a tough. She is a yep. radical feminist. In th this, right, right, bitch, right. this um, bitch openly advocated for mass immigration. This woman is yeah, not your yeah. fucking friend. She's not a, an ally to the right. She is a piece of shit. Fuck J.K. Rowling. 
She's an asshole. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it you and I who were talking about this, or that you mentioned this to me that that she she is like I mean, she had a horrible relationship with her ex husband, which I think is how she ended up becoming like a very bitter feminist. Um, not a surprise. I and mean, that's just it. Like, yes, she wants to. She's not based. Fuck I'm talking to about that. It might be. Oh, it might have been my girl chat. Maybe we were talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Um, right, right, right. Where was that? She's a protected um, class. Sargon defended her. J.K. Rowling he defended her. This woman is not uh, to be defended. Under any circumstances. Yeah, she she, she says she was in. Okay, so she says J.K. contends, and and I I I, I I'm willing to believe it that her relationship was abusive. Um, Don't care. But, but that's why she she hates men and became a, a crazy turf. Um, but yeah, it's interesting that in her tweet she's like, as a woman, I'm gonna I sh I'll just say whatever I want. But yeah, she wouldn't. Yeah. I don't. She wouldn't cry a tear for you if you as a man got arrested by the Scottish government. And if you guys don't know, the Scottish government has passed a hate crime law that basically says that if you say anything that offends a, a protected class of people, namely trans people, is what they're really going after here. Mm. But you misgender them, even if. And it, by the way, because who knows where this stops? Um, if you do it on, even on accident, uh, they'll come and arrest you. They'll fine you, uh, and yeah. and J.K. I do and look. I, this is the thing. She she came out and said, "All right, arrest me. I won't I won't shut up. You can come and arrest me." Now that's very nice. That's a very sweet gesture, I guess. But the thing is, she knows it's not real. Yeah, she knows that. She knows the they won't arrest her. Do shit. Yeah, they won't arrest her. I... They will arrest regular people. Yes, they will. I... That's how I said. They hate you, and they hate the. It's, it's exactly as Trump said. <laughs> they they're after you. I'm just. He's just in the way. I Same wonder thing with if Hader. I wonder if the regime basically just said to her, "Hey, look, you can keep antagonizing these people. We won't do shit. So basically, yeah. you can look like some kind of crusader for good, and we can look good yeah. because we don't arrest you. But we will basically arrest everyone else and not give a fuck. Basically, yeah. playing you look yeah, like a favorite. <clears throat> yeah, regular people are going to have their voices stifled. They're going to yes. be too afraid to talk. You can look like a martyr. Yeah. You you have yeah. martyrdom status without actually becoming one. Right, she's already got it. She's hmm. al well, I mean, she's already being. I, I I was looking at her tweet earlier, like where she was. She said this that she said she looked forward to being arrested, and just all tons and tons and tons of people saying, "Oh, thank you, J.K. Thank you, thank you." Yeah, there's fucking right wingers as well. Defending, like, look, I, I don't. Oh, I, you fucking cuss. Sargon's defending J.K. Right over this. Wingers. Look, no, fuck okay. anyone who defends him. You're an idiot. I understand why people You're are saying dumb. that. You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta walk back for a second here for a second and understand. She has nothing to lose by doing this, at all. They're not going to come for her. They're going to come for you. Uh, you know, they're they're going to come for people who they know that they can persecute. Um, and she always said she's like, "We'll fight. We'll fight it together." If they come for you, I'll, I'll we'll, we'll well. She actually knows. She said, "If they arrest me and then they arrest you, then we'll fight together." But they're not going to arrest you, Rowling. And you know that they're not going to arrest you. Yeah, it's they're going to try to they'll do some scare tactics against you. They'll they'll show up at your house like they did before. They'll do that kind of stuff. They're not, but the Scottish police are not going to arrest you. Yeah, no, and, and there is dumb. the question that was that was raised when I was on the uh, show the other day is that, um, you know, the, the really the, the scary thing about this, right, is that there's extra ter territoriality stuff. So could people potentially, and I think this is a little bit, um, I don't think this is likely to happen, but it is a possibility. And, and here, here's, again, the, the interesting thing. If you're an American citizen and you're in the U.S. and you're responding to someone on Twitter in Scotland, and you call them a tranny or whatever, well, you've now done a hate crime against a Scottish citizen. Can the Scottish police try to extradite you over that? Oh, fuck off. Now, I'm not saying, no, hang on. I don't think it would happen, but it, one of the things that it does do is gives a little bit of um, precedent for other governments around the world to, one, institute similar things. Because again, oh look, this Scotland is you know first world country, um, and they, they've instituted this because this is this is the march of progress. We have to do this. Or if you've got someone who's really particularly pernicious that you don't like, uh, and they've said that naughty words, you know, see if you can just hand them over to the Scottish government. Yeah, fuck yeah. I don't think that'll happen, but it's a I think it's a little bit catastrophizing. I think the regime is way weaker than than some people believe that it is, and I think we, look, they find. And this has been consistent. Hey, good night, Bill. Everyone should phone up the Scottish police and report all the politicians for this. Yeah. Because that's well. That's true, but they don't. That it's only hate speech when you do it. Um, in in terms of. 
with so much red tape they can't form the other one. That appears to be what I what I've seen people saying is like let's all and that would be interesting if that does end up being the re reaction. I don't think it's true. That would be the base reaction. The base way for things to go would be if, if everyone in Scotland just tweeted hate, just hate, quote unquote, right? You know, what the, the fuck is that? Or hate words or whatever. Just er like everybody who's based in Scotland, just start tweeting and and going out in public and sh shouting slurs and see if they can arrest all of you. Now, I, that's not going to happen. That would be based, but. Uh, it's way simpler than that. Uh -huh. Just keep telling the Scottish police all these people, all these politicians are guilty of hate speech mm -hmm. and keep sending hundreds of them they will have to trawl through so many i mean that's something too they will probably not find the right ones well the right well also um i mean yeah just bog down their system i guess why not bog, put bog it down the bureaucracy with so much work that they can't possibly cope and they get themselves. i mean that would be that's another way to deal with it too right yeah just just report everything report just constantly report um if you could, that wasn't Spoon, that was Bill saying something in the background that was really hard to hear, sorry. Uh, but, um, or, or I don't know if, if, if Spoon's here, but like, um, yeah, like, Anywho. just bog them down with reports, fuck with them. I mean, why not? Fuck these uh, motherfuckers. Why does Bill sound like Spoon? Because he was kind of far away from the mic. Uh, and here's the thing, though, we don't I don't really know. not very similar, do we? No, you just just have deep voices. You don't sound anything alike in terms of... Ah, there we go. Tone, accent, yeah. cadence, or anything else. Just have deep voices. Yay! I mean, the thing is, if you make a false, well, how can they determine if it's a false report or not? What if you say, what if you say, what if you just say I'm offended? How can they say that you're not offended? This is the problem with laws like this. See, I consider it a hate crime. I consider it. I heard it. What are you going to do? It, it's just it's all of it's based on reporting. I heard them say it. I heard them say something. This hurts my feelings. They misgendered me. You can choose your gender, can't you? Right? Oh, and of course, yeah. You know, this doesn't apply to Muslims at all. Uh, they're they're exempt. Um, but. It's happening in Scotland. It's happening in the U.S. as well. FBI agents captured on video during a home visit admit they spend every day, all day long, interrogating Americans about their social media posts. Just verified with local law enforcement that the individuals who came to my home really were FBI per their license plate. My lawyer will contact the um, OKC, um, uh, Oklahoma City field office. The lawyer did inform me that these instances are now common, but the lawyer doesn't believe that the uh, FB sent them the screenshots of my posts. Rather, it seems like a fishing expedition. I do not fear them. My only concern, as I told the cop, is that someone in my state will do something or that they would uh, or that they would, and then use my post in a malicious attempt to smear me. Just remember, I'm a Muslim, an obligated protector of creation. I enjoin what is good and forbid what is wrong. So this woman, again, a Muslim, had two feds walk up at her house over social media posts. <clears throat> Cringe. Is this is crazy, dude. Can we just move in front of the house so the dogs don't go crazy? I need you to identify yourself and let me take imagery of your IDs. I'm not going to show my Yeah, uh, already illegal. Or illegal, illegal, illegal. You have to show your identification as an officer. You have to. You have to. Unless I'm really confused about something involving the feds. It's different from the police. I could be mistaken. You got to show your ID. If you are about to interrogate somebody, you're presenting yourself as a... As a employee of the federal government and, and Department of Justice with the, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, you have to show ID. So you have X-Files to know that, just kidding, but I mean I have, but I, I'm fairly positive you have to show ID, particularly if you're going to do this kind of shit. I don't have to ID myself? Yeah, you do, idiot. Um, so you said you were with the FBI? Why do they always, do they always dress like this, too? They always try to dress like normally, but, you know. Yeah, they look like, sunglasses. um, they look like fed boys. Yeah, they, you look you look like you glow in the dark. Yeah. And why won't you show me your credentials? We did. I, I, I didn't let, take a look at them. I said, one second, I'll be right back. Are you going to show me your credentials or no? Yeah, we did already. So, and we identified. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> like, no. Do it again. You just, you just Do like, it again with the camera. of gay. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I mean, it is believable. But this is the state of things. This is this is the the common everyday warfare that the government engages in against everyday citizens, and it's meant to make you terrified. It's meant to make you too afraid 
to say anything, to do anything. It's the same exact thing as that Scottish hate crime bill. Sound they sound gay. Want... Yeah, well, they, they want to make you absolutely terrified to speak your mind. <laughs> it's all on purpose. So what we'd like to do I didn't look at your company. credentials again. Well, I we... didn't verify them. I, w I told you to wait, and I went inside. That's correct. What we'd like to do is just have a conversation with you about some social media posts that you've made. Would you be willing to talk to us today about that? No, no I would not. I would like you to later talk on with my lawyer. Okay. Do you have identification? Do you have a card or something cards? That we can reach no. To you? No. I'll get back to you. Okay. All right. You, you, you see how she is. First of all, this woman knows what's up. Excellent response on her part. This is exactly how you handle this, this kind of thing, okay? Uh, and if if any. If, and it, you guys, anyone in the chat, like you, something like this happens to you, more or less follow what this woman's doing. Ask them for their ID. Say, no, you can talk to my lawyer. Understand that what they are doing to you right now is unconstitutional and illegal. They can't do any of this. They know they're they're not either. That's why you can see how frustrated they are, because they what they want all they want you to do is talk. They want you to talk so that they can get something on you. Don't talk. Attorney, uh, contact the FBI office in Oklahoma City. What's the number? What are the names of the... So they're, they're admitting that they're the FBI in Oklahoma City. Agents? I'll Google it for you. I will Google the FBI Oklahoma City office number for you? Why don't they know it? Don't you find that weird? Okay. Or, they, they, must not be from, they must not be from Oklahoma City then. These are mm. feds from somewhere else. They're not from the local office. They Otherwise, don't even he would look know. legitimate. So you're refusing to identify yourselves? No, we don't have to identify. No, again, again, I did not take a look. Okay, so the phone number for the FBI in Oklahoma City is 405-290-7777. He's not going to take that okay. down. She's not going to phone them. Well, she had to report it, but still, who cares? And tell him that Facebook flagged me for posts. Uh, Facebook gave us a couple of screenshots. So, so Facebook, again, still working with the feds. Being told, this guy just admitted, yep, Facebook sent us the posts. Okay, so we no longer live in a free country and nope. we can't say what we want? We never have. But okay. Well, you can't arrest me for freedom of speech. We live in America. Exactly, so it's kind of weird that you want to come talk to me about me. Oh, you know how much they want to arrest you, though. Sizing my freedom of speech. Okay. All day, every day. Okay. Shut the Nobody fuck up. has any ill will or bad intentions. The if you Nobody's that have ill will, the feds can interrogate you. What did she post? We'll, we'll go through the article here because I, I read this before, but I can't remember what she posted. It, it was I think like a nothing burger. So do you have a conversation with everybody on the neighborhood? I mean, all I've done. Oh my God! Immediate Fed voice shit. You have information on. You want to snitch on any of your neighbors? Is exercise my right as an American citizen on a public social media platform with my personal opinions? Correct. Okay. Mo most of the individuals, right, in America, especially older generation, right, have Facebook. Are you questioning all the citizens in America? Oh, oh, wow, what another what giveaway. If we could, <laughs> That's quite if we could question all the citizens... Now, let's be clear. Uh, no, they wouldn't. Uh, only those who have wrong thing opinions. But yeah, if we could, we'd, we'd interrogate every single fucking one of you who oh, uh, has wrong thing shit, don't beliefs. They? God, they really do. Make fucking glow boys. Okay, so you have concerns about my personal opinions? If you don't want to talk to us, then you can... I'm definitely not going to have a talk with you. Well, thank you for your time this morning, and feel free to reach out to Okay, they're so-called FBI. Those people are not FBI. What's that woman doing there with them? That's the, I, I don't care. I, mean, I don't says. know where the, they are not. Those, those people are not FBI. I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't know what the hell they are, but that's not FBI. That that is some weird offshoot of some state fed boy shit but those, those are not official Something there's weird. nothing there's nothing they you didn't can know do they didn't know the fbi me. office number the, the the fact that this, this is their, their behavior. i don't know 
They, they are yeah. some they are some offshoot like hired hands of the regime, but they sure as shit are not official FBI. I don't believe that for a fucking second. I don't know what they are, but their behavior is sketchy and vague enough to make me think. You know what you know what they sound like? Uh, they sound like if you had hmm. a word with Patriot Front. Maybe. What they sound say? closer to those fuckers than they do. Oh, it was this <clears throat> she said ISIS is Israel, aided by the hashtag USA. Don't let them play with your mind and reality anymore. Wake up to the real terrorists. Oh, she said something negative about Israel. Ah, based. That's what it was. Well done. And, uh... Good, well done. However, it says, in a statement to Fox News and Reason, FBI's Oklahoma City office spokeswoman, Kayla McCleary, asserted the FBI's commitment to protecting Americans and upholding the Constitution, clarifying that investigations do not stem solely from First Amendment protected activities. That sounds like an admission that they were feds. What the fuck? In that sounds like an admission was, from what, the OKC what, go, back, go, go back, go back, go back, go back. Yeah. Just do it, just do it under, but like, every day the FBI engages <clears throat> with members of the public in furtherance of our mission, which is to protect the American people and uphold the Constitution by snooping on people's uh, social media posts. Mm -hmm. Fuck off, you faggy fed boys. <laughs> Fuck off. Dude, your job is so shit that you have to go and ask regular people about what they talk about. Like, you are absolutely mm -hmm. useless shit human beings and you produce nothing of that. I hope mm -hmm. that you go to bed at night realizing how utterly irrelevant and useless you are as a human being, that that is what you fucking do. You produce nothing of value. Mm -hmm. I, as a YouTuber who shit talks, make more people happy than you fuckers do. Mm-hmm. Mm. I hope that really sits this, well however, with you. this, however, sounds like an admission thanks. that they were feds. God, these this is from are the homosexuals. They have behind OKC uh, office. Absolutely. So that sounds like an admission to me. <clears throat> uh, let me uh, do this and then we'll, we'll finish up on the, the Gamergate DEI stuff. Um, yeah, it's just that uh, sleepy. AI, well, give me in half an hour, okay? Because we, we normally finish up around midnight, okay? Um, thought wake up. A thought-provoking and accessible New York Times article, which uh, is not accessible because it, <clears throat> it's behind a paywall, but just, just to get an idea. So this is right. how the major AIs align on political compasses. They all, all lead left. far left. It, they do not allow them. The AIs have been so kneecapped, they have been so castrated, that it cannot have an opinion that is not leftist. Again, they can't. Well, it's it, this is by leftists. <clears throat> yes, it is, because leftist ideas cannot exist if they're challenged. Yes, because they suck. Yes, so the only way that leftist ideas can exist in at any form is if they're protected, and they're the only things you can hear. If it's the only things that you can hear, that's why they, that's why you can't say things that they don't like. It's I mean, it's interesting though that that woman's a. I was talking shit about Israel while being a Muslim because the left typically. Is, is pro <laughs> pro muslim but uh, i'm not sure uh, gronk actually uh i think i saw that gronk is better that gronk is one of the ones that's a little bit better when i looked into this a little bit earlier but um yeah this new york times article is behind a paywall no it's not yeah it is okay so i'm Ooh, not paying for that 51 but uh Sorry, I'm, they, I'm, I did I'm, see another one that said gronk was better i'm, I'm trying to multitask here i'm looking at whiskey oh, yeah. and rum and doing oh this. my god Okay, well, while, while you're doing that... I have that, to buy okay. Angel's Envy. It's oh, only 51 crazy. bucks for Angel... Dude, 50... Okay, those of you who are American, um, what do you guys pay for a bottle of Angel's Envy? Uh, basically, yes, I'm asking this for two either. reasons. One, uh, who in the chat knows what the hell that even is? Some kind of whiskey. Uh, yeah, but Angel's Envy is, like, exceptionally good shit. If you can get a bottle um, of this, Aiden, then do buy it. Okay. Uh, Kissa for five pounds says, Spoon Karl Marx was a bourgeoisie trust fund baby degenerate, which yeah, does uh, sum up the people who follow the ideology in general. Pathetic loser in comparison. Yes, he absolutely yeah, that's, was. Yeah, it's true. A dear yeah. T yeah, it is true. A dear T is King for five says, this cultural calculus uh, has been made before in the 1960s, and that made the boomers what they are. Yeah. We must fight this war on all fronts and at all times. I, I agree. I agree that just because even if it is that culture is downstream from politics rather than the reverse, it doesn't mean to give up on, on culture either and trying to fight that but it's probably better to i don't know both are important right i think that's what you're saying as well i do think however i've been convinced of the 
uh, the culture being downstream from politic though argument uh james cole oh i got that one for 50 thank you again has opera for five says you're saying that being politically empowered didn't matter because culturally the left has been dominant what happened to culture being downstream uh what if you don't being have political to... power the culture can run amok that's the point you want to right, wrangle right, 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 right. the culture back then <clears throat> get political power right 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 the the, the culture comes from the politic Yes. So, yeah, you, you can do whatever the fuck you want in, in your little corner. No one's going to pay attention to it. It doesn't get put into Hollywood movies. It doesn't get put into yeah. major video games. That's what we're talking about. Um, Masso. Sorry, it uh, took a while for us to respond to that. Uh, Kiss it for five pounds says, Squatters' rights is a legal way for thieves to get property from their owners. Yes. The story in the UK, there's a story in the UK where a squatter stole a home from a pensioner. Yeah, I've seen stuff like that, actually. There's, I just saw that quite recently in the UK. What, did that just happen recently? I, mm -hmm. I, I saw a story about that. <clears throat> Gary Thomas for five says, "Is it fair to say that New York City is overrated?" Um, yeah. Yes. I, I don't over, overrated. It's a shithole. I've heard for years through movies and TVs that it's a place, the place to be. But nowadays, it seems like a shithole. It's been a shithole for a very long time. Yeah. It's also extremely that. expensive, just like California. I mean, I had a nice, I've had nice times uh, staying like on time in Times Square and stuff. Um, Aiden, earlier you said that the right was politically in power. No, I didn't say that. I said the right was not politically in power. I said that the, it, it might Have seem as if the right's years. politically in power. No, 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 no. I said it might seem that the right has been politically in power, like under the George Bush administration or even under Trump. But in terms of the actual political hegemony, the oligarchy that's in charge, right? That, that's really in charge behind the scenes of things in terms of all of the multi, uh, the, the three-letter agencies, all of, all of the infrastructure, all of that, that's thoroughly and completely on the left. That's why I brought up the the uh, the Tory party being in power in the UK. It doesn't matter if they're quote unquote in power, they're not. The I, it it is a um, mirage of power. Does that make sense? In that, you, oh look, Trump's in charge, or or, or the conservatives have control of of you know, uh, this that or the other um, political body. They don't actually because the you pay thirty five bucks power structure, for a bottle of Angel's Envy. What the fuck? <laughs> That's insane. Anyway, so the, my point is that the underlying power structures are leftist. That's what I was saying. Uh, I did not say actually that the right, I said the right has been in power in a very, very long time. And that's why the culture has been leftist for so long because it's come down from the overarching power that's structure that's beneath nuts. the surface, right? I hope that makes sense. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Uh, Deadpool Kid for Five says, come on, let's start using Vlad, Vlad the Impaler's criminal justice system. That would be based. <laughs> based. <laughs> Minnesota Faster 10 says, Dickless activists expect the California government to force executives to take pay cuts or some bullshit so the money would trickle down. Yeah, they... It's ridiculous. Instead, Whoa, the this is the same as it is a master of mall. Ah, of course. Of course, Minnesota. Of course that's how it works, because anyone who's not a retard could have predicted that. I am very tempted says, to buy this right now. Go buy it, then. Uh, Kiza for five pounds says the Scottish crime bill should be used to relentlessly... Should be used relentlessly against Hamza Yusuf to the point Parliament bend the knee. Where the courts are locked in lawsuits. I they mean, they've been doing that actually. Yeah, hopefully they will. This is ridiculous. In the underlying power structures, can make your king not matter. Uh, no, the king is also not. If you have an, no, I mean, I mean, they, they, you have to be careful, right? You have to be careful because any 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 system of government, monarchy, is not in any way um, lawless, not susceptible to this, but. I think when you have one person in charge, it's a little bit easier than when you've got a huge bunch of hiders in which it's easier for the bureaucracy, the oligarchy, uh, to, to hide Monarchy itself, right? is less government than your current government. I want you guys to yeah. actually realize less that. Government. If you hate government, why the hell would you hate a monarchy? And that's monarchy how I came is to that less conclusion. government. Out of a libertarian, almost ANCAP's yes. position was, was, oh, that's minimal government. Yes, it's it's... It's really maximal, one person in yes. maximum power in terms of isolated in, in one person or one family more specifically. But uh, the actual monarchy is high it's, order. It's diffused. Yes, yes, highly ordered. Whereas democracies, republics are very diffused. So the power is, is all over the place, which actually weakens it in some ways, but strengthens it in others and allows that oligarchy, that uh, that nebulous bunch of, of people in in who put themselves into positions of power and then hire a bunch of other people 
to back up their regime. Uh, that allows that more easily to get um, to establish itself. It can happen in monarchies. It has all throughout history. Don't get me wrong. Would you have one guy in charge? It. I would happily have one yeah. man in charge. <clears throat> easily. <clears throat> easily. I have no fear just, uh, of the one man in charge by any means right. whatsoever. We I would rather have one man in charge not because than it's perfect, right? 500 bureaucrats. Yes. Fuck but you, you, and I, you, you and I advocate for the monarchic system not because it's perfect, because there is no perfect system of government, because, because people are people are involved. Um, however, in terms of trying to reduce um, all those heads of the Hydra, all of that um, nebulous bureaucracy... It's I want monarchy because I hate my better. fellow man. <laughs> I'll openly say Deadpool that. Kid for 20 says, I've had to tell the Almighty to go ahead and judge me, but I want all the migrants out of America and Europe. I want the squatters in labor home camp to make us free furniture. I've lost my Christian patience for both. I understand where you're coming from, man. I really do. Ooh, it's hard to It will see Wolverine the reemergence of a king. And then they'll say, oh, you're not living up, you're not living to Christ standards. Like, but you, like, you don't even believe in Jesus. So why do you, like, you don't care. Uh, don't you that. judge me by that. by standards uh, that yes. you don't even believe in. God will judge me if I if I excuse me though that when somebody hates me now I know you're supposed to turn the other cheek but let's understand what Jesus said when he meant that understand exactly the exact context what does it mean to turn the other cheek do you know spin? It means to smack the shit out of them. No 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 what turn the other cheek means. It means to smack them with a firm no, hand. No it does not. Yeah it no, does. No it does not. That's n when they slap you turn the other cheek that's not what that means spin. When they slap you with the back hand, backside of their hand, that's how they would Equal. slap you with the back hand. That's that's as an inferior. They slap you with the front side of their hand. That's as front an equal. Side is an equal. Or, yes. So it's to turn the other cheek is to force them to slap you as an equal, right? It doesn't mean to let them beat you. It means come at me as a fucking equal. All right. So don't Christ Christ cuckery. That's not what that come means. Come at me as an equal implies that they can be. I don't consider these people my true, equal. True, true. I don't consider these people very yeah. fucking Exactly. Mean. They'd have to try to, which they can't. Uh, Woolgrace for two says, I'm sure some uh, SCA bot farms could perhaps consult. Yeah. Um, you have, Woolgrace for another five says, You have four cheeks. Uh, lose some weight. Yeah. <laughs> Toward Angel's Envy Home Distillery two years ago, slapped hard. Get one of the finished rum in rum casks. Ooh, nice. Nice. I don't know if I can... Uh, I don't know any... any, any uh, I don't know any Angel's Envy that's finished in Rome. Okay, so Aiden, you don't mm. know anything about Angel's Envy. Angel's Envy is finished no. in port. Mm -hmm. Which is what it okay. gives them. It smells like... You know the toasted nuts you get around Christmas time? Yeah. Yeah, the nose is like that. So there's a reason why it's called Angel's Envy. Because the nose is... Oh my god, the nose is fucking to die for. A friend of mine actually bought me a... Um, Angel's Envy, like, years and years ago. Actually, she's the same chick that helped me get the graphics card that I have now. And, um, she was nice enough to get it to me as a gift. And I went, th this, this whiskey, I was not able to get it in Europe. I don't know how the hell she got her hands on that. She was able to send me a bottle. And I thought, th this whiskey has such a reputation for being this amazing godsend. Like, uh, is it living up to its reputation or is it absolutely overrated? And like within the nose, mm -hmm. I went, oh my good God, this whiskey absolutely does live up to the reputation. It does have. <laughs> it's so fucking good. It's even my top five. The only thing I would, I don't like it, the proof is a bit on the low side. Um, it's only 43% <clears> and I'm used to drinking like, you know, 50s and 55. So yeah, yeah but it's it's, a, it's very nice sipping whiskey. I will, I will check it out. I will check it out. Um, Let's get the last couple things, which is about DEI and... and How am I drunk? I'm not drinking. Shit. No. Um, so That's another, totally another bridge, or, or excuse me, another boat went into another bridge Holy today. Hell. Again? Holy hell. Yeah. Is, is, is it more people? The bridge didn't collapse, but it, it did... It, it apparently reopened. It's half. Yeah. Oh my God, that's blue. Uh, no, I think it, it separated. I think it actually had as places where it separates. But, uh, or something, I don't know. Um, um, people of color. It's not known what caused it to hit the bridge. Um, I mean, I'd agree with what Trump said last week. It's just, it's just decline. It's collapse, right? It's, it's not, it's not even DE. This isn't even DEI. It's just total utter, and utter collapse of the system. I think that's probably accurate. This is all falling apart, man. Because what, what is there to keep it together? Uh, uh, not enough white people. Uh, sort of win. I don't know, DeSantis. Disney apparently has conceded to him. 
in their long-running legal battle, but I looked through this and it doesn't really... It, it, it just sounds like Disney's gonna, like, put a hold on some of the stuff. But at the same time, he also said that... Oh, so... This, Disney's most interesting right now is mm. the is the the battle for the board. Well, it, it, look, they're no longer in charge of the Reedy Creek stuff. It sounds like. So I don't know enough about um, Disney's current business uh, antagonism with Florida State to give an accurate opinion on this. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I will refrain because unlike a lot of people, if, uh, if someone asks me my opinion about something that I don't know, I will just say I don't know. So I don't know enough about yeah. this to, um, I sound insanely the, drunk. The, How the hell do I sound insanely drunk? <clears throat> don't know why. But the, the big yeah, thing to take away is that, um, Shut up. <laughs> the big thing to take away from this, though, is that the reason Disney was able to get away with so much insane shit in Florida is because they basically Have their own owned country. this Reedy Creek development as, as an autonomous nation. They, they could, could build make, their own they nuclear could basically power do plant. whatever they, they could, yeah, they could yeah. have done basically anything they wanted. It's crazy. They've had to capitulate to the state of Florida. By the way, Disney, all you had to do was stop trying to, like, do this In weird fact, shit with, with fight. Well, no, specifically what, what pissed off DeSantis was them fighting the parental rights laws. Going at yeah. it direct, going after DeSantis directly and saying, no, 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 parents don't have any rights to uh, determine what happens to their children when we want to uh, uh, inject them with um, hormone blockers and estrogen. Spoon, why is it? Oh, spoon, fuck on my <laughs> <laughs> Why is the chat trying to gaslight me right now? I don't know. Uh, so, good. Good on DeSantis. We'll see um, <clears throat> we'll how this plays out. It's not quite over yet. We'll see how that works out. Uh, Disney is not doing well, obviously, in general. So, uh, fuck them. Uh, this was interesting. Complainant alleges University of Wisconsin DEI czar, husband of Harvard's DEI chief, which is weird because they live in different states, has decades-long history of research misconduct. So... Really? Ron Charleston, who once surprise. assaulted a police officer, passed off old studies as new research at least five times. Oh, my God. Why By is it that every time I see a person of color in any position of authority, they're instantly corruptive, moral, and utterly incompetent? Why, why, why do I keep seeing this pattern over and over again? It, the DEI chief at Harvard, by the way, also had committed multiple acts of research misconduct yes, and that's, outright that's, fraud. Yes, that's my point. So why is it So is her every, husband. I, the thing of it is, you keep telling me white supremacy and is a police officer, by the well, way. You, you, you keep telling me white supremacy is a thing, and uh, I'm starting mm -hmm. to believe it because whenever I see anything that isn't white, I see utterly incompetence and lack of any coherence yeah. or morality. Like, yeah, you, you, white supremacy is real, and you keep showing it to me that it actually is by you just being shit. No. Yeah. Now, I have not read through all of this. I just read kind of the headline because here's the thing. I will go into this. It, this apparently is, is this going to be my new job now is just uh, covering this stuff. Because I do DI enjoy covering hippies. it. Uh, no, I, I enjoy <laughs> shitting all over the corruption in higher education. Because it's my thing. I really genuinely care about academia. And because I care about it, it deeply hurts me to see how absolutely corrupt and, and, and broken it is. But it's yeah. but I know as much I know as well as anybody else does. We're gonna go over this in in part of my video that I'm gonna put out put out about the Gamergate stuff, which again is not gonna be for a while, guys, because I'm gonna be traveling for a month. But I will be working on it the whole time. Listen here, Chad. If you keep gaslighting no, me, I not. will start kicking you for the funnies. What's happening? I have the no. power, and I will abuse it. What's happening? The chat is How gaslighting are you being me. Gaslighting? Because they're telling me that I'm the drunk. The chat is gaslighting. Oh, that. Then why are you responding? Because I'm not drunk. Oh, whoa. I'm sure you're not. <laughs> I will make an example out of you. I know, I know. So it, 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 he's another plagiarist, it seems like, or he's conducted some research fraud. And again, he's and he's married to the, with a DEI officer at Harvard who also has been found uh, as, as seemingly guilty of having committed research fraud. It never yeah. ends with these people. They're all just... Uh-oh. They're all just these worthless diversity hires. Uh-oh, I think that, um... Did Brave Hold just crash? No. Yeah, it did. Hang on, I gotta restart it. Um, well, that, that tab crashed for some reason. Um, okay. I'm not sober, but I'm not drunk. I've oh, had okay. some whiskey. Okay. Alright. Couple final things on the... I've had strong whiskey. 
Mm. I thought you hadn't been drinking at all. I'm a bit buzzed. Let's see. Uh oh. Come on. Okay, there we go. So a couple new updates on the gamer get shit. Sorry, I have to bring Oh this god, back up. this fucking Brain. bitch. This was yeah. like a week ago. This is this is my video even. This was uh, long enough ago when I finished writing that. By the way, this is why I mm. said in that video, the first thing if you want to make games more profitable is to fire every single fucking woman, woman. from the company. Yeah, fire every, all I, No, they, hang on. Whether it's from the... You ever heard no. of Legacy of Kane games? You ever heard of the Legacy of Kane games? Uh, Some of the like m most awesome video games in terms of story and character and like and like not feminine at all written by a woman but what year the extreme minority when did the last legacy of kane game come out like 19 or not 2006 something oh, like that so fair, a long time ago fair while ago, yeah. no it's maybe probably like 2006 maybe there you before go. that it's a very very old but like um yeah the legacy of kane games woman woman a writer behind it it you can it can happen but uh, very, very rare. Uh, BBC gaming presenter Jules Hardy calls for current Sweet Baby Inc. discourse to end with a final purge of ideological opponents from the medium. So she you literally are admitting called this for... is purely about politics. Yes, I like that that she called for the uh, the final solution for the gamer problem. <laughs> the final solution. I can't believe it's so funny. <laughs> like they're so again, My they're so overtly evil. Purging every fucking person that's lacking a Y chromosome. This is the thing. They're so overtly evil, and they, again, they hate you. She, what do you mean by final purge? What do you want to do with them? So you are admitting the, the way, first one was about trying male, to remove. Right. Yes. Male hmm. toxic gamers, as you would call them, lady, it's make up ninety-five percent of your audience. So let's say you purge. Let's say some of them aren't toxic, of course, of course, according to you. So you're going to purge 80% of your market share? Have fun. And you wonder why you're losing money. Purge, and, how are you, and where are you going to purge them to? Uh, so we're going to get into this black girl gamers thing. By, by the way, and now, you know, yes, we are toxic. And we like it that yes, way. Exactly. If you have a problem a with it, bit of bants. fuck off. Just because yeah. you're a thin-skinned bitch who fucking lacks any capacity to have fun doesn't mean we are. Now, fuck off. Absolute cunt. So there's this... Yeah. So there's this group called Black Girl Gamers. They've also come, gotten involved in this Sweet Baby Inc. sort of debacle Gamergate 2 thing, which I'll get a little bit more into here. But a retweet, uh, retweeting a now deleted post uh, in which the user proposed the creation of a Steam Creator page similar to Sweet Baby Inc. detected group meant to inform customers of the games in which Black Girl Gamers had worked. Black Girl Gamers that was the stroke of genius, to defend by the Sweet way. Baby Inc. Which? The, the um, creator page? Yeah, the, yeah. Sweet Baby Inc. It was, yeah. Because it doesn't yeah. do... Because like I said in my video... It doesn't do anything. Just it exists. doesn't... Yes, but it also bypasses any engagement with the left while still antagonizing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole thing about the mm -hmm. Gamergate 2 kicking off was that. Which is brilliant. Like, look, look, look how angry you made the left and you didn't engage mm -hmm. with them at all. Mm-hmm. You just expose them, and then they freak the fuck out. You didn't have to engage or insult them in any way. Just went like, look, here's this thing where this is cringe and gay. That's it. It's absolutely brilliant. Sorry, well, here's on. your page. Uh, because you wanted to finish Tweet Baby Inc. When I know that you both worked on projects and forced the EI is nothing more than racism. Black Girl Gamers mocked. We really got you pressed by just existing LOL. We've never worked with Sweet Baby Inc. You saw that's, Black that's, that's, and Consulting. That's ironic, considering you're pissed off by the fact that we just exist. You, you are pissed off existing. You yeah, are pissed off by the existence of the Sweet Baby Detective. Yes, you're pissed. You're pissed off at white people for existing, but you're also pissed yes. off at the, at the. They called for the guy to to have his account uh, locked, to lose his Steam account and all the games that associated with it. It could be thousands of dollars worth of games. You don't know. You heard the words. You saw black and consulting and decided we all work together. Sounds like racism. We're not. How is that racism? Have fun. Because uh, everything's racist to these people. And again, it's just a buzzword. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a term so they can throw it at you and make you afraid. Stop. You. Got, we have to stop being afraid of being called racist and sexist. I like being called racist. It's all they have. I know you do. But like a lot of people, and even myself included, I get it's because I don't like to be called those words. But I like they it don't because mean it, it, anything. Yes, but that's why I like to be called that because I know the people who use that words are just like outing themselves when they do. Like, ah, okay, there you right, go. Right, right, right. Yeah. The words, the words mean more, says more about you than it does me. Mm -hmm. 
I know yeah. I'm racist. I hate a whole bunch of people. I'm okay with that. I've yep. made my lot in life. Now, taking notice, taking notice of Black Girl Gamer's attempt at a public clapback, Hardy would eventually retweet the company's post and ask her followers, can we agree that round two of this, Gamergate, can be the final purge of these kinds of gamers? It's 2024. I've been arguing about this for decades. Decades? A decade? You haven't even existed for decades. What have you been arguing about for, dec for decades? What the fuck are you talking about? Can we at least have a full detox of these dudes so we can get back to positive gaming community we've been creating? I don't want a positive gaming community. Look, there there is a positive gaming community, okay? This is this is the thing that fucking drives me nuts. You know what? The reason I, I've I've been a nerd my whole fucking life, right? Going to conventions and stuff and, and talking to people on the internet, whether it's on 4chan or, or people you meet through online games on Steam and you become friends and it doesn't matter. Or on, or on forums or something, and you be, just you connect over liking video games. That's not toxic. It's actually very, very positive. I've never really had negative experiences. In fact, I've made lifelong friends via video games, shared hobbies. These people have not because they don't like video games. They don't actually have anything in common with, with people who enjoy them because they don't like video games. That's why they can't... Just, what, you just, haven't been creating any fucking community? It's just, it's just an avenue to... Just, you, it's, it's just, just you navel-gazing. Yes, yes. You, the community you're creating is you paying your friends to make shit no one wants. You and your friends getting paid by the government to make shit nobody wants. That's your community. Honestly, you know, the experiences that I've had in my life, in gaming circles, in comic book circles, in um, sci-fi circles, and, and, and nerd culture stuff, are, are the most positive of my entire life. And, and so welcoming. And so, really, they were. And we can't do that anymore. Because when we, that's why we have to gatekeep. And it's sad. I don't like that. But it's the truth. We have to gatekeep. Because when you don't gatekeep, these people come in. They come in, they weasel their way in, and then they kick you out. Yes. They decided, no, we don't, no, you're not the type of person. And it even includes me. And they'd say, like, well, you're, you know, autistic, uh, bisexual woman. I should be, that's I mean, I know like... I'm white, but so, so, whoops, that, that huge uh, red, you know. Scarlet letter on myself. I guess. Oh no, I'm white. There's good Scarlet Scarlet W. <laughs> I am taking the double on this though. But uh, yeah, I know that I'm white, and that's that's a big detract uh, detractor from them. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm an autistic gay woman or half gay woman. I should be all on. You know, you sh you should be trying to recruit me. But no, because I don't I don't adhere to your politics. Therefore, all of a sudden, all my little qualifiers evaporate. Right? If you're if you're a black gay man or a black gay woman, doesn't matter. You don't, none of that, all of those little identifiers, all of the, that id poll shit, it evaporates a second that you do not align with the politics. It shows how much they really care about it, right? Because it always is the same. Uh, they'll, they'll call you a mammy the fucking second that you don't go along with their shit, right? Or a, a C word, or, which I can't say, I don't think I can say the C-O-O-N word, but you know, on YouTube. But you know what I mean. They'll call you all kinds of, of, of horrific fucking slurs. White people will do it. I see them doing it on Twitter all the time. Do it to black people. Uh... Just because they don't align with their politics, it's it's fucking amazing to watch uh, watch them do it. Uh, as an aside, it should be noted that while there currently exists no public record of Black Girl Gamers and Sweet Baby Inc. having worked side by side, the former has stood in defense of the latter amidst their recent backlash. Yeah, which of course, uh, they talk shit about Ackman when he finally pulled his head out of his ass, only under extreme pressure to be like, Oh man, I just today, I just woke up and realized the Sweet Baby Inc. stuff, maybe has something to it. Oh, so anywho, this company's insufferable, but we've got some more shit from them. Uh, this is actually kind of interesting. Uh, people were talking shit about this company, this Black Girl Gamers thing. And YouTube shut it down, literally. We are on YouTube, so we'll see. YouTube shuts off stream about how deep the gaming DEI rabbit hole goes. Is YouTube attempting to silence any discussion of wokeness being injected in games, or is it all a creepy coincidence? It's unclear what cut short a bombshell podcast a stream on the Google-owned platform when a former member of Black Girl Gamers, a collective narrative consultancy that finds itself at the center of a firestorm of controversy for both the content it creates and potential discriminatory hiring practices. It's the same thing as that other um, <clears throat> woman who made the dating simulator game where she's like, I don't hire white people. It's the same thing with this Black Girl Gamers thing. I mean, it's in their name. They do not hire anyone who's not Black or a woman. Now, they, their excuse was, it's in our name. Of course we don't hire anyone who's not black and woman. Here's the thing, though. That's illegal. Um, 
So, whoops. Uh, what's clear, I mean, it, it technically is, it doesn't, of course, get enforced that way. What's clear is that it remained up on two other platforms more amenable to free speech. And according to the podcast host, the video has been hit with limits on monetization and visibility when it was uploaded to YouTube in its entirety. So the interview in question involved a Twitch streamer who goes by the pseudonym Gothics, who alleges that she was kicked out of the group for being anti-Black, despite being Black, obviously, because she questioned many of the group's positions, including what she says is anti-white racism. Quote, as a former Black Girl Gamers member, I can confidently say that these people are full of crap. They do not care about diversity. They promptly kicked me out for being anti-Black, aka not making an idol out of my skin color, and refusing to hate white people. She said in a post on X uh, last week after Black Girl Gamers threatened to sue those accusing them of racist hiring practices. Um, you admit it. What do you, how are you going to sue? You admitted publicly that you don't hire anyone who's not a Black woman. That is illegal. Again, I, I, as I said, it's not enforced that way. But it is illegal. I was harassed for months after the fact and received an onslaught of vitriol from many of their black members. You know how BGG respond. They blocked me and literally scrubbed my existence off of their platforms, she added. She made a similar claim during an interview on the Size Roller podcast. The problem is when people make skin color an idol, uh, Gothic said they worship their skin color. They think that it's their identity. And then they have to make up all these weird rules and regulations about what it means to be black. You guys are saying this is a safe space. I don't feel safe, she added, saying her legitimate opinions were under attack thanks to the group's wokeness. However, Side Scrollers podcast co-host Stuttering Craig said their show stopped midstream on YouTube and they were going, as they were going deep down a rabbit hole in DEI and gaming. Our show just stopped. He said, uh, yeah, it says zero. Uh, you can watch the moment yourselves. Here we go. Labs <laughs> was like, we've been talking a lot about this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, like, and she's like, this is exhausting. I, I agree. It's exhausting. But I feel, I feel like we're doing doing some important stuff and like the fact that like i'm pretty in tune with the video game space i i, I feel like i i have a pretty good idea as to what's happening but the, to see this go so deep is is really just just absolutely shocking and i i don't know like how deep this could potentially go i and and the fact that you know um is is like it is, is just mind-blowing to me now i want to say something here real quick before we get to the obvious cutoff, it's going to happen. <clears throat> um, which I've not watched this moment, but just to say, I've, I've been on YouTube for a long time. We've been streaming here for two years. Over here at Broken Crown. Sometimes YouTube just fucks up. It is possible. This is a totally random error. However, I'm a little bit suspicious, right? I, I don't <laughs> even... I don't know, what do you think, Spoon? Well, let's watch this and let me know. What do you think? This there will been... be a day. There will be a day here. soon where where we where we step where we definitely go down the rabbit hole even deeper. And so, yeah, y'all aren't, yeah. aren't ready for that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was gonna say like this has been happening for years. Like when I woke up, I thought like oh, it's like no people have been informed about this. It's like it it goes far back. That's why I say like just don't drive yourself crazy. You know, still enjoy, enjoy video games. Our like, show yeah. just stopped. No. No. -uh. What? Yeah, it's a zero. Huh? What? Whoa. I just got to the in screen marker on on YouTube. Yeah, yeah see, that's yeah. unusual. You, no, the end. That's mm -hmm. unusual. So I have had, we've had, we've even had it here, like where our stream's been taken down because it's like, oh, you violated a copyright thing, or you've even violated a. Um, I, I've seen it too before. Where someone is like, oh, you violated a, a community guidelines. That's what it says. It doesn't say end it. That's unusual. So that is yeah. weird. That is, uh, mm, it's a little bit weird. Just knowing stuff about how YouTube works, that's a little bit odd. Uh, is, are you still live on StreamYard? Yeah. Yeah, it's still going. It says zero on. Uh... Dude, like literally after you said like how deep this rabbit hole go and it just like shut off. Okay, so Rumble's still live. <laughs> that's it. Just a. Uh... It's interesting. You can watch the whole thing if you guys would like to. Uh, it has normal, been re-uploaded. Yeah. Oh, it's also a link here to it. I'll post it here. Um, here we go. If you want to check that out, and that's uh, yeah, that's basically all I had for the evening. But uh, I think that's very weird. I'm interested to see where this goes. <clears throat> um, I'm just, I, clearly, like they can't hide this this GG2 stuff. They, they're really mad about it, but. Yeah, uh, the, yeah the, we'll the, there is one aspect of this that I do want to make a video on, um, but it will just be making fun of it. 
Yeah. Yeah, just because there is one aspect of it that I do find really funny. Uh, mm -hmm. I do. I think I. We find uh, funny. Um. Where the hell is that? The SPI and POC writers were brought on board to help with more authentic perspective. A question: Do these SPI yeah. writers have official education history, or do they just think they can write better about Black history because their own skin is black? Which I find really funny yes. because these people are constantly just say, "Oh, look, we're more than just our skin colors." Like, no, actually, you're not. You get fucking hired for it. No, like all of like like all of Black people have the exact same. Um, like, like inherent history just because of your skin color, which is Bloody. absolutely fucking insane and stupid. Let me put it to you this way then, right? So if okay. these people are experts, they're they're experts not because they've studied um No. You know, just like inherently sociology. Black. They've studied they've studied history, they've studied um, you know, anthropology. So there's inherent no, knowledge in they, just being black. They are experts by nature of being black. So what does trust the experts means mean when it comes to science? Uh, well, in, in science, does that mean by nature of being, by nature of being a scientist, of having a degree, well, uh, you must be trusted, even if you don't know anything. If we were to judge these by the same perspective, and by the way, you should, because that is what they mean. These people, well, they, all, they do mean the same thing. No. I think so. You don't think when they say trust the science that they don't mean trust somebody because of their accolades and bona fides and not because no, of the, no, the no. legitimacy of their work? No, I... I... I agree with that. I don't agree that uh, the metric of comparing them with the consultants is a fair one. I think that's a false equivalent. Okay. I was just trying to make a little... It might be a false equivalent. I was just trying yes. to make a little... <laughs> Jab at them. ...association there. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Of course I was. All right. Let's uh, finish but, up the uh, ba Basically, but at this point in time, whenever I see anyone that isn't white, I immediately assume you're an incompetent moron. Because you, I mean, fair you play. get hired because you're black, and oh, therefore you explain. are a competent moron because you only get hired for your skin color and fuck all else. Yes, that's why. It's not because necessarily they, they couldn't be a competent person. You know, again, we always bring this up, but it's, yeah. it's the easy go-to. Who's our favorite Supreme Court justice? Clarence Thomas. It's Clarence Thomas. Yes. You know, who both of who, 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 who's one of our favorite political philosophers? Thomas Sowell. Thomas Sowell. Yes. Like, it is not, it is not about... It, it's these people who, who like, see the, the race first. You and I are looking, and, and this is the way that it should be, but I mean, like, in fact, it's funny because- And you have a they, gushing I think they, they, crush on Roland Fryer. <laughs> yes, I, I mean, yes, Roland Fryer's got, like, like left leaning, leaning beliefs. Yes, but I, I don't I don't give a shit about his politics. His yeah. his maths his, are, are uh, elegant, right? Which I, I, I'm like, ooh, that's a really good solution. Yes. So yes, that 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 and actually my favorite I did, protagonist I in the that, game that, is that did the other day with um, <laughs> yeah, and I need to I I didn't get a chance yet to listen to I'm gonna listen to that tomorrow the um interview he did the, with uh, Patrick Ben David the other day. Oh yeah, um, that's 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 pretty. By the way, did you know Patrick I, I, Ben Davis is like six foot five. Is uh, he looks like he's really tall? He's he's sure. fucking tall as shit. But um, I put it I should have put it on, but then I oh no, I had to go on a stream, so I couldn't or something like that. I couldn't listen yeah. to it um at the time. I but like yeah, Patrick. He's, while I'm he's got a good brain. I like Patrick, yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, so it, look, I, I I think that these people, one, they're making the average person way more racist, um, which is or just funny. aware of the fact that you suck. I, or right, right. I mean, right. Well, that's why. I mean, it's it's right just because the people quote unquote racist, right? And that, that makes them be like, well, mm. you can't get ahead on your own, and you suck. It, it, it makes and them more they racist. And then they keep down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which tends to be like a loaded term. But the thing of it is, right, like, right. you you can't tell me that your race matters, and every time I see you, you just happen to be dumb as holy fuck. Like yeah, it's yeah. making me notice the fact that whenever I see any person, I'm not three foot eleven. I'm three foot six. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's 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 a very he's a very he's I'm, I'm a hobbit. <laughs> I'm, 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 Shire. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would say that uh, people who have seen me on camera before don't think that I'm particularly tall. And then all the girls that have met me, it's the first thing they do when they look at me is like, wow, you're a lot taller than I expected. Like, yeah, I'm not sure. Really? Uh, yeah. It's the overwhelming like first foot, thing right? they notice. Yeah, I'm just shy. Six foot. Like, my father is yeah. like six foot three, and he's a slight mm. bit taller than me. And I've had I've had guys tell me, like, you're about probably like six foot. I'm like, I don't fucking know what this bloody point mm. I'm probably hovering around there at this point. <laughs> Spoon's a dessert spoon now. <laughs> uh, yes, but only um, when women are around. <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool Kid for 20 says, thank you, by the way, says, although I have a hard time fully accepting monarchy, 
I imagine being in full support of some kind of yes, I'm war, like a mother Europa and view Western civilization as my cradle of civilization and honor the ancestors' mindset. Yeah, um, there's multiple ways of looking at it, but I think that mostly what we have to focus on now is... Did um, you see the mayor the who said that um, DEI means the N-word? Yes, I, I, was I, I really, was thinking really about having funny. that in here, but I forgot about it. Oh, I, was, I, I think it was something I was thinking about, but yeah. Oh, yeah, let's bring that up real quick. I mean, like, why, why not? Uh, I mean, that's that's a gist of it, though. Is that they just... This person on Twitter said that if you see somebody saying DEI, which is their term, by the way. Like, they came up with this. Diversity, equity, inclusion. inclusion. Their term. If you see someone saying DEI or being critical of DEI... It was, it was the mayor of Baltimore, right? Yes. Then they're just calling you the N-word. Uh, yeah. what? Do you know what's even funnier? Wait, this is, isn't the clip. This is just the screenshot. Yeah, but uh, fucking. Oh, no, here, Joy no, this Reed. guy, Philip Lewis. No, no, the, the mayor didn't say this. This guy, DI is basically standing for the N word now. This is it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Joy it's Reed spoke about it. The Baltimore mayor. Yeah, I, I thought somebody else said about said that too. Um, it was really was funny Joy Reed? because that makes sense. yeah, uh, Joy yeah. Reid looked absolutely fucking insane. Well, it is an insane thing to say. It's yes. your term. This is exactly what they did with woke. Remember this. They, yes. they, and SGW. So the SGW was their term first, social justice word. That was their term. And then it, we started making fun of them for using that term and made it into something that was derogatory. Yes, but and then they, the, they dumped it, right? The reason that I laughed at Joy Reid doing it is because she looked completely fucking and now they, insane. Like more was so it, was than her usual. Was wig falling off again? Uh, no, she, yeah, was, like wear, she, she, was, wear, she was wearing a shower cap. <clears throat> oh my god. Like, I'm not, uh, uh, fuck it. It's it's in here somewhere. Hold on. But uh, finish my thought on that. What you what you're looking for? Yeah. Um, yeah. So SJW that was their word, uh, their term. We started making fun of them for it, and then they they said all of a sudden it's a slur. It's offensive to call us SJWs. Uh, that you're using it to be you're you're attacking us with this word. It's your phrase, yeah, look, your look, term. Look, look, look and that. then. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, she's just absolutely. And then they did the same thing with uh, woke. Woke was their word. Oh, I'm woke on 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 the truth. And now you can't. If you say woke, they say that's you're you're attacking me. Oh my god, she really is wearing a shower cap. Okay. Y'all think we don't know what you mean when you say DEI? It's your word. Diversity, yes. equity, inclusion. Or phrase, whatever. Hack we know what you mean. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck? She is like a legitimate mental patient. Yo, what like, the like she, shit? She is like a legitimate fucking moronic psychopath. She's actually unhinged. Yeah, she, she is legit. Dude, this is, this is the, this is only one step above, um, oh, what's speak, his name? Speak, speak, speak. Spitting, Keith Oberman. By the way, spitting all over speaking, himself speaking and being like, that, about the, that the just came from my hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what is it? Yeah, is right. DEI a racial slur? Oh, really? Was this an actual article or is he, you mean, oh, Newsweek, is DEI a racial slur? Um, it's gotta be a meme, right? This has gotta be, he's no. gotta be memeing. No, really? Huh. Hang on. Is DEI a racial slur? <gasps> oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's Newsweek. It's real. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. DEI equals die. Yeah. How is it a racial slur? I think it's because um D yeah, DEI is the new N word. Um, Scott Adams has been going around saying it stands for didn't even uh, didn't earn it. Yeah, dude. Like, also, this is the mayor of Baltimore. I I prefer my one. Isn't it unbelievable that this guy shows up like this? This is, this is the mayor of Baltimore. A bridge collapsed. Seven people are dead, and he show rocks up like this. Unthinkable, a tragedy. We have to, uh, first and foremost, pray for all of those who are impacted, uh, those families. Uh, pray for our first responders and thank them, uh, all of them working together uh, 
city, state, local to make sure that we, uh, everyone. He won with over 70% of the vote. They said he didn't come to practice, offer any DEI practices, appointments, etc. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We know when they say DEI, it means that you, what we're saying is not that you're black. It's that you did not earn this by nature of what you believe in, what you, what your accomplishments are. It's because of the color of your skin or because of your politics or because of your gender or your gender identity. It is all about left-wing politics. It has nothing to do with your value as an individual. Yeah, here they all are. DEI I, is a disgusting racial slur. Yeah, I, I would say racial that, slur. Wow. I would say, Hilarious. Yeah. I would say DEI in my opinion stands for um, divisive, evil, and inadequate. Yeah. I prefer that. Well, my favorite, my favorite one is uh, destroying everyone's infrastructure. Because that's there really you go. fucking destroying accurate. Everyone's infrastructure. Because yep, that is legitimately is. what you do. <laughs> anytime I see any person of color that isn't white in any position of power, they instantly suck and ruin the quality every yeah. fucking time because they're Joe not. Manchin, they're objectively, Manchin, yeah. they're objectively inferior as far as performance goes. Every fucking time. Sorry. Sorry, Joe. I always want to call you Joe Manchin, but Joe Machen. It's our word turns into it's a slur turns into it's cringe every time. Yeah, they did that with they That's did that with SJW. They did that with woke. And they're they're gonna do it with at, at, with DEI. It's our word, and now now it's gonna be a slur. And then soon enough, it'll be oh, using the word DEI still cringe. What what do you, is it still twenty twenty four? You know they will do this. They do it every time. We, we can they go back to the N word. What would you prefer? People are having a go at me because I said inferior. Look what they have to do to match the like, fraction dude, of Dude, I power. can look at your quality and performance of your job and it's objectively inferior. Yeah, yeah, like yeah I've, exactly. this is This is not like like a racial slur. It's like, no, it is yeah. objectively measurable that you're worse. Yep, yep. No. All right. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, I'm saying for two says, I want a spoon... Uh, uh, woo. Uh, woo clock. There you go. There, there is a woo clock. Uh, Woolgreaves for five says gamer problems require gamer solutions. I propose a WarioWare party style game slash QTE. Oh, I sorry, I have one last thing to do before we head out because we have an ending song actually today. Um, we do because I've I've made yes because I've made something. I did send it in very early version to you, but I got <sighs> feedback that it's actually kind of a bop. It is very cringe, but also a bop. So it's not um, going to be as good as the opening song. Uh, not from your perspective, I'm sure. However, no, from, from the um, chat's perspective. Uh, Aiden, every time you think you produce something, I'm going to use it at the, the end chat, of my new video, okay? The, the chat hates it. To be fair, also, I, I did write this as well with AI, and then of course I used the AI software to make it, but then I went and I rewrote a whole bunch of the lines. So uh, I did write about 80% of this in the long run, <laughs> like, um, which I have to admit to. And I, I have to take responsibility for my actions. Anywho, I propose a warrior uh, party style game slash QTE where pink slips are rapidly sent out. That would be hilarious. Uh, Gary Thomas for five says, Aiden, what kind of job can you get with a PhD in mathematics? Asking for a friend. Well, Gary, you can you can become a you, you can become a, politi you can um, a political philosopher of James Lindsay's and they go by. You can become James Lindsay. Uh, I mean, there are there's a lot of things you can do. Um, you can go work for um, like pretty much any there's tons of, of companies that would hire you probably um the main thing you do though with any kind of phd um if it's not an applied field like engineering is uh and engineers don't often go and get PhDs. Yeah, yeah. how am i a biased point, source when i notice already. it's what the chat this likes is there's nothing to do with my personal opinion what the fuck? Uh, gary if, if you're you are going a, to criticize me you better come much better correct boy <laughs> But Gary, if you're going for a PhD in math, if you want to, I'd say go for it. Um, it, it if you're passionate about it, uh, just uh, again, Dr. Lindsay's got a PhD in mathematics. <laughs> but uh, I, 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 you know, if you're passionate, but only if you are passionate, because it's a lot. It is a lot of uh, it's a lot of work. Panzer, and, and I'm not going to hit on you. you. That that mathematics, uh, <laughs> when you have to write your, your dissertation, <laughs> it, you have to understand that it's most likely going to have to be pure math. Uh, uh, I, I've I've read exactly one mathematics uh phd thesis and uh made my brain hurt and it was from a like sjw too to use that word like some crazy left that's new and i was like oh wait a minute but then i realized actually after reading it from it i was like wait a minute now anyway the math doesn't make any sense because there's no fucking math in this um <laughs> anyway so dk45 says first super chat since sending one to jim a bazillion years ago hey you guys are awesome thank you dk well thank you that is all the super chats for tonight so i'm going to play us out with the gamer gate song <laughs> That I had the AI make. Hang on, let me let me pull up an appropriate. Um, let's just I'll just um we'll take it off. No, 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 I had to share my screen. Hang on. 
fuck. Give me a second. I forgot I have to be sharing my screen in order for it to play. So, uh, hang on. Uh, shoot. Uh, one second, one second, one second. Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh Here we go. Let's find some appropriate image to keep up on the screen while I fucking... Uh, here we go. While I, I play this horrific song. Uh, there we go. But... Just, oh no, it's a video. Put, put the fucking thing on the screen, you little bitch. Okay. There we go. Alright. Oh no, it's Reddit. Okay. Jesus Christ, is, there, is Reddit really this shit that you can't just, like, look at an image? Okay. You know what? Leave Reddit on the screen. That makes it worse. Actually, uh... you know what? No, it makes it more appropriate. <clears throat> it's... Wow. All right, I'm sharing my screen. And then I'll, I'll... Tell me when you're... When you got it up, Spoon, and then I'll... I have. Okay. Is this going to depress right. me? Uh... Yeah, you should be able to hear this if I'm playing some in the background. Let me uh, uh, know if you can hear it once I start playing it, right? God. Uh, oh, shoot. I gotta find it. Uh, sort by type, because it's uh, it's called The Final Cringe, Cringes Evolved, or something like that. Here it is. Oh, that's not it. Wait, did I put it in here? Oh, shit. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay. Yeah. Can you hear that? No. Did you hear that? You didn't hear that. No. That's God worth ah. saying, don't play shit. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hang on. I switched my thing. Change windows. Uh, This one. Yeah, the media player. Now that should work. All right. Is that up? Yeah, but it's not playing. Can, can you just hear this? Can you, can you hear this? Jump. Can you hear that? Yes, that unfortunately. Okay, all right, okay. All right, guys. We're going to use this to play us out. All right, thank you all for joining us tonight. Enjoy the... Excellent piece of cringe that you're about to hear, and let's go. Yo, check the headlines, it's a digital war zone. Game of game 1.0, where it all had grown. Talking ethics and gaming, it's a battleground. Five guys, burgers and fries, pass solely around. Yeah, coin is a bust to start a strife. The coin conspiracy theories fueling fire in the night. Niggas are keeping with a feminist frequency. Can't kiss it, cringe, can coffee. Add a ball, win, model, yada, pull us in the mix. The chaos unfolding, the same in that shit. More than pixels, an escape from the screens. Game or game one. The dumpster of me All gamers, the most oppressed of all In the shadows of the internet, we stand tall Game of Game 2.0, we're ready to brawl we'll Rise up, never to fall We are gamers, the most oppressed of all In the shadows of the internet, we stand tall Game of Game 2.0, we're ready to brawl Okay, coming we'll rise up, never to fall 2.0 is a battle to wage Sweet baby incorporated on the stage Funded by the DHS with the sinister plot International governments calling the shots Corporal journals at Kotaku and IGN Spreading lies and deceit thought this never ends They call us trolls but we're fighting for our games Steam curator list, yeah let's fan the flames We won't be silenced, we won't be ignored Did it cause it was funny or because I was bored So raise your controller and take a seat Cause at the end of the day we're just a bunch of meats we are gamers, <laughs> the most oppressed of all In the shadows of the internet we stand tall Gamer Game 2.0, we're ready to grow We'll rise up, never to fall Yeah, we rise, never fall Gamer Gate, we stand tall I mean when we do stand, which isn't often I'm basically glued to my gamer chair That's not a metaphor, it's that sticky Gamergate 2.0 There you go guys, however, <laughs> when was gonna end But uh, Horwitz Fabric and Horwitz has donated $20 to ask us to actually end on Info Metal to <laughs> um, um, which we will have to do then here real quick. Uh, let's end on some info metal. I will uh, switch over my streaming window over to here, and we'll listen to some. Uh, whoop.
I don't know. Yeah. I wouldn't know, That's John. Sure. I don't. I don't listen to the music of the kids. I don't listen to modern music in general. No, that's it's ninety style hip hop, yeah. Watching guys. I think we got the gist. Let's head on, guys. <laughs> it's also funny because Spoon's got it fucked up, so we can't even see it. All right. I know, we can't see it. All right. Uh, thank way. you, though, Horwitz Fine, bring it Horwitz, for the 20. We got some info metal in to, to uh, counteract my cringe.